topic one. Might as well dive right up in the topic two. And it's Thursday night, better come soon in. Yeah, the rain's on the wall, too wonderful. We going live on the big screen. Tell us he kept doing big things. For the people, yeah, the props be fishing. You ain't tuned in, you gon' miss it. Pay attention, man, you better go listen. For the 12 year, you know we on the mission. What's going on, yeah, we gon' list it. In time, news, yeah, to the missiles.
and two. Yeah, this corner of the week, then topic one. Might as well dive right up in the topic two. And it's Thursday night, better come soon in. Yeah, the rain's on the wall, too wonderful. We going live on the big screen. Tell I see Cam doing big things. For the people, yeah, the props be fishing. You ain't tuned in, you gon' miss it. Pay attention, man, you better go listen. For the 12 year, you know we on the mission. What's going on, yeah, we gon' list it. In time, lose y'all to the missiles.
praise, keep the feast in remembrance. Praising our God with a song when we're present. Glorious God's like a chain with a pendant. Spirit of joy, I receive, so I'm sending. Spread it to my bros, that's my flower. Hey, hey, shalom, shalom, viewing audience. Hey, we back with another uh, episode. My bad, oh, my bad. Oh. This is Israel United in Christ, and this is the Riders on the Wall radio show. So I'm excited, obviously. <laughs> you know, it's a little early. We shot the show a little early. Oh, praise. You That's know, because right. it's the new moon That's this right. Thursday. Praise, God. God. praise to the most high of Jesus Christ. Praise. That's right. All praise for that thing. But. You know, we are brothers, and we wanted to make sure we give y'all your end time news. Yeah, so, that's right. we ain't even do the introductions yet. Hey, I'm Captain Matt Thighs to my right. And Shalom Israel, I'm Officer Low Size. Shalom Israel, Officer Aaron. Shalom Israel, Officer Malachi. Shalom Israel, Officer Samson. All right, Israel, I'm Officer David. And this, this is your place, place for end time news. Needs yeah. work, needs work. Y'all need to go to choir practice or something. Oh, yeah. Hey, but all praise to the Father, man. We back. Uh, I didn't sing in the choir. I didn't. I know. Love it's a lot of mercy. Yes, all right. Go ahead. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry. Uh, amen. Hey. Amen. That's amen. right. Amen. All praise to the Father. Hey, this is a special edition, man. That's right. Uh, hey, the Book of Clarence. That's a that's an exceptional film. Yeah. Right. Hey, Damn. hats off to the brothers who oh, did. Praise. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. That was heavy. It was some heavy imagery. Yes, it sir. make you feel good. Right. See all of your people in the land. Right. Uh -huh. Yep. And then see Ro Rome on punk ass. I'm right. sorry. Oh, right. Oh. Ro you know. <laughs> <laughs> I break it out, Cap. I always mess with people, man. Right. right. I always mess with people. Oh, hey, punk ass wrong. Hey, I will say if you haven't seen it. This ain't like an official spoiler alert, mm -hmm. but we gonna talk about it. We gonna uh, talk about it. Uh -huh. We yes, gonna sir. talk about it. What we saw. That's right. You right. understand? But nah, it was good, man. Um, I know we had a chance to. Some of us went to Atlanta. Right. All praise to the Father. Oh, uh, praise, shout praise. out to Bishop Nathaniel. That's right. The deacons, the captains. All praise yeah, to the okay. Father. That's right. Always a good experience when we go up that away. Sure. Hey, man. What? Uh, what's going on, officers? What's going on, man? Bring it on. 
I wore the bottom weight cap on it. You said it, y'all went to Atlanta on the great class by Bishop right. Nathaniel. Right, 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 right. He brought right. that, bro. He always give us a good class right. on us. All praises for that. That's Go ahead, right. son. All praises. Yes, I um, went to Atlanta um, this weekend myself. All praises, like y'all said, to the bishop, the deacon, and captains. Because that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. How you want to get built up? You got to be around your leadership. That's right. That's right. You can't be around your that's peers right. and nothing like that. They can't build you up. But you got to go from the top down. All right. So yes, stay in the spirit, Israel. Right. Stay in the spirit. Well, all right. <laughs> and nobody else has anything to say. Well, uh, Aaron, you got something. You laughing like yeah, you said. Don't forget about me. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be a. Uh, 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 a fun-filled show. A lot of information coming out. Uh -oh. So, hey, That's hey, pay attention, Israel. You better, you better pay attention. <laughs> uh, light skin. You ain't, what? You wasn't you somewhere the other way? Hey, oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 I forgot. Yeah. 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 Say light, nothing. Light, uh, light, uh, light, light. Yeah. 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 Out there in LA. We know out there in LA. You know, what I'm saying we're back to the West Coast. You know, say check it out. But yeah, uh -huh. some good times. You know, say hit camp out in the Long Beach. You know. Yes. Yeah. Bro, you was not in Long crazy. Beach. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> she was in Pompano. When you, was that Pompano? Pompano? Pompano ain't in California. Oh, I keep telling him that. He's oh, still wrong with this guy. God. You talking was, about, what is, what's out there? The Valley? The Valley. Uh, Laguna. Oh, it's He was in Laguna. <laughs> Laguna a lot of cities, a lot of cities yeah. out there. A lot of cities out there. A lot of cities, all one area. He was, he was with Brodus and them. Oh, oh wow. wow. We're not bringing it out. LBC. <laughs> not hey, hey, as a matter of fact. Bring this out. <laughs> as a matter of fact. Bring it out. What a lot of people don't know is that Officer Los Sias used to play for Snoop Dogg's Little Ooh. League football team. Uh, Famous. <laughs> hey, talk about that. When you, yeah, yeah, talk about that real oh, quick. Because uh -oh. you was in the LBC. Sure. <laughs> uh huh. I guess. Oh, uh -oh. uh, yeah. You know, growing <laughs> up, Pop Warner, you play football. You know, Snoop, you know, Snoop happened to come to our league and he, used, he was my coach. Played with Brodus, you know what I'm saying? You know, he was a quarterback. But yeah. Play for Snoop, but you know, it's significant back in the day. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing too much, you know. Right, so you put that behind you. <laughs> yeah, ain't nothing. Okay, so you prop so so you you left playing football, you came back prophesying. Right, all uh -oh. crazy, yeah. That's so gave up football, came back, people that Bible. Okay, okay. You see those sides, you know you want to you know, he don't let you even Mess with him a little bit. Right, it's very, right, right. It's very wise. We're going to get him some point in the show. <laughs> hey, um, and didn't y'all say something about Kiki acting up again? No, say something about that? Oh, man. Lord. All right, works. put the thing up. IT said Kiki acting up. Uh -oh. Let's see what she's talking about. Read that. Kiki Palmer files for sole legal and physical custody of her son with Darius Jackson. Kiki Palmer. It is no guru on success relationships. Wait, wait, what, what, wait, read that again? Yes, sir. I, I am no guru. Let's give it up to the reader. Uh, <laughs> soldier, soldier oh, seven for the tribe of <laughs> Levy. Levy. Levi. Oh, yeah. Let's give it up for the reader. Nah, nah, he's, a, he's an excellent reader. I had to mess with him real quick. Right. Yes, I'll tell right. you this. Nah, I ain't gonna say it, I ain't gonna say it. Oh. All right, go back to the, uh, go back to it. All right, read that. Kiki Palmer, I am no guru on successful relationships. But I believe that love should honor individualism. Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so, okay, come read on, read on. I'm sorry. Read on. Even in partnership. If I'm not good as an individual, how can I be good in union? If love means compromising my passion, ambition, or dreams, then it's not the love for me. Because if I lose myself, I will eventually lose you too. Or worse, blame you. All right, before I before I say what something. The hell? Uh, what is the, okay? Uh, what you got on that, officer? Cap, I, hey, I'm gonna be real. I, I don't even know who Kiki Palmer is. Oh my <laughs> god, wow. her name is Kiki. Oh, nah, I nah, never nah. took a key. Nah. I never. Yeah, Kiki's serious. But go ahead, officer. I know you know. Go ahead. You on. know Kiki for real? Yeah, he know Kiki Palmer oh. is man. I, don't listen to this guy. I do not know who. Kiki Are you serious? Yeah, so you I'm, never I'm been on this show before? Not the yes, I have, but I don't pay. <laughs> Yeah, Kiki Palmer. Why are you saying it like nobody, everybody knows who Kiki Palmer is? Right. Uh, yeah. Hey, on the speak on it, though. <laughs> 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 speak on it. <laughs> she was talking nonsense. <laughs> she was talking nonsense. So that's, that's, um, like our on, on the average black woman, you think they know everything. They go by how they feeling and stuff like Bring that. They got to go by what the Bible says. That sounds like that's a bunch of degrees it. and yep. a bunch of friends say, oh, no, that's why. Hey, that's right. deep right, right. there. <laughs> what you got here? Cap, yeah. she, she said even in the beginning of her statement, she said she's not a guru on relationships. So how is she making statements saying what she's saying? Basically, she's saying what relationships should be like. 
but you're not a guru on relationships. So, well, go back to it because she said a lot. I want to deal with a few things that she yes, said. Sir. Yes, sir. Can we go back to the article, please? Read that again for us. I'm no guru on successful relationships, mm -hmm. but I believe that love should honor individualism, even wow. in partnerships. Uh, what's the one? Um, Ecclesiastes 4, right? Yes, Let's sir. get that scripture. That's a scripture in the Bible. <laughs> I, th I think I want verse 9, right? Please ask these four, eight or nine, one of those. All right, so she's talking about individualism. That's that's called selfishness. Selfish. Right. Selfish <laughs> ism. Right. I had to put an ism on the ism. end of that. Ism. Bring it up. Ism. Read that real quick. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4, and verse 8. Go ahead. There is one alone, and there is not a second. Yea, he have neither child. I want, I want the two no, is better no, than one. No, 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 no. Can, you, can, you, can you read it right? Yes, Come sir. on yes, now. Sir. You know, when I say eight or nine, I'm looking up for, for the reader to confirm it for me. Come on now. <laughs> yes, sir. Bring it on. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter four and verse nine. Come on. Two are better than one. It says what? Two are better than one. Let's find out why. Come on. Because they have a good reward mm -hmm. for their labor. Uh-huh. For if they fall... The one will lift up his fellow. Right. So That's in right. individualism, how can you have someone who pick you up if you're all about yourself? Bring right. it up. You okay. understand? Bring it up. That's that like, what is it, like oxymoron or something like that? Yep. Don't right. make no sense. Right. 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 Read the yep. verse again. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. Come on. But woe to him that is alone. Wait, wait. It say woe to who? Uh -oh. That to, is what? Uh -oh. To him. That is alone. Y'all know what that wolf's was talking about. It's talking about destruction. That's right. right. So it says destruction to all the individualists out there, Ooh. all the independent women out there. Uh -oh. right. I will go to Isaiah 32, but I might go a different direction. <laughs> right. I, you know, I thought about that sister from uh, a few weeks ago. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That yeah. princess sister. Princess. 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 The one will lift up his fellow, mm -hmm. but woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he have not another to help him up. There it is. Right. So there cannot, there is no such thing as individualism right. within a relationship. Yes. Right. And I hope you sisters out there understand that. You're getting that from failed relationships from people like your mother, right. your mm -hmm. auntie, your grandma and them, your cousins, yeah. and you're taking relationship advice from people who have failed marriages. Right. Right. That's right. where that come from. Yeah. Um, and in 2 Timothy, y'all know this one right here, 2 Timothy uh, 3, okay? It talks about these type of spirits would be amongst us in the last days. Individualism, separatist, okay? Selfish people, wow. all right? Watch this. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3 and verse 1. Go ahead. This, this know also that in the last days. In which times? The last days. Right, in these times right now, in the last days. Come on. Perilous times shall come. Very dangerous times. That's what the perils is going into. Okay, come on. For men shall be lovers of their own self. It says men shall be what? Lovers Bring it of out. their own self. Of their own self. Of their own self. But what she don't really understand is that when you're selfish you don't you do not um you don't love yourself right, right. because if you're selfish that means you don't have the love of christ in you that's right because the love of christ is going to teach you what charity right. brotherly right. kindness right. love without dissimulation that's what it's going to teach you right and then what's that one in Sirach 14 right Sirach 14 5 yes sir give me that one right there so kiki you may think that you love yourself but you don't all right you don't because if you did love yourself you would treat somebody with some damn respect. Right, right, you yeah. wouldn't be out there uh, having Usher uh, serenade you and you half naked Bring on the down. stage. Bring we ain't forget down. about that thing, right. man. Dang. We ain't forget about that thing. But to be honest with you, you see this a lot uh, when it comes to celebrities. Kevin Hart did it. Um, you see this with a bunch of other superstars. Once they get to a certain status, they end up leaving their spouses right. yeah. yes, sir. in order to keep climbing up that Hollywood ladder. Right. That's wow. what they have to do. They have yes, to leave man. their spouses yes, right. Right. All right, because they can't keep that positive image in order to get what Esau has for them. Right. Right. All right, read that for us. The book of Sirach, chapter 14 and verse 5. Come on. He that is evil to himself. And Kiki, that's what you're doing. You're actually more self-destructive than you even know. You're very self-destructive. Think about what that's doing to the child. Right. right. You understand? Thank Children you. need both parents. For those who grew up with single-parent households, you would know that. That's you right. understand? Or you had the um the woman dominating the marriage. Right. Right. The husband may have been there, the father may have been there, but he wasn't he wasn't no man. Right. right. You had the woman dominating that thing. He was a simp. Exactly. So what is she doing? She putting that same 
uh, destructive mindset and cycle uh, back to her own child. Right. right. All right, read the verse again. He that is evil to himself. Come on. To whom will he be good? To whom will he be good? So she's saying it's all about her. She's losing herself, but check it out. You don't even love yourself, and that's Ooh. why you end up all alone. That's, that's right. right. That's right. All alone. Yeah. All alone. Die with a dog. You gonna <laughs> <laughs> hey, real quick. I ain't saying nobody else saying nothing. Nobody was saying nothing. Today. Well, um, yeah. okay. She gonna write a book, and that yeah goes into what on the Steve Harvey does, like. He's on like his third marriage. Right, 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 right. And he's right. on the trying to teach women how to, uh, what is it, think like a man or something? Right. Wow. Yeah. Something like that. She'll do the you same exact thing. And our people will listen right? to these people too. Right. Can I, get, can I get Titus too? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, praise. Can I, Titus two and um three and four? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because this is what the young woman are supposed to do. The older woman's supposed to teach the younger woman to do this. Let's read. The book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 3. Uh -huh. The aged woman likewise, uh -huh. that they be in behavior mm -hmm. as becometh holiness, mm -hmm. not false accusers, nor given to much wine, uh -huh. teachers of good things. So they're going to teach of good things. The right. good things in the Bible is what? The laws and statutes That's of the Most right. High God. Read. Right. That they may teach the young women. Teach the what? The young women. Yeah, Kiki Parker, she'll be a young woman, read. To be sober. Uh-huh. To love their husbands. To love their what? Let their husbands. It don't say be alone. It said to love their husband, read. To love their children. You see that thing? You're supposed to have children when you're young. Right. And you're supposed to have a husband. That's not being right. alone and die with a dog. <laughs> why, you, why you keep talking about this damn dog? <laughs> <laughs> Do you, you got a fence against animals? They, man, no, they, they be alone, like, you know what I'm saying? So called black <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, they be alone. Yeah. Let me get a with cat. Let me get a dog. Cats. So Yeah, the cat. <laughs> so, the cat too. Wow. Yeah. Oh, but that's heavy right there, yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys so go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh quick script, uh Proverbs three and five. Because what you hear is a bunch of feelings, emotions, saying this is what I believe a marriage should be. Because what? When you leave this system, like you see what happens when a sister, you know, she's high in society. She believes her voice is actually going to, you know, is going to matter. She's try, trying to teach sisters the way they should do. But what? The Bible says for how we should guide our mind and what we should follow. Proverbs 3 and 5. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 5. Uh huh. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. No, trust in your emotions. With trust in the Lord. With all thine heart. Read. And lean not unto thy own understanding. God's letting us know, don't lean unto your own understanding. We're going to hardly guess it right. We're not about to just guess and come upon it and it's going to be true. No. We're supposed to follow the Lord. Read on. In all thy ways, uh -huh. acknowledge him. Uh -huh. And he shall direct thy path. And what? This Bible is going to direct your path. Give me that first tip of Peter 3. Because what? What are wives supposed to be doing? How is their mind supposed to be when it comes to what? How they're supposed to deal with their husband, deal with the household? God is letting you know right here. He's going to direct their paths. Give me that uh, first Peter chapter three. I believe it's verse uh, one. First Peter three and one. Go ahead and read that. The book of first Peter chapter three and verse one. Uh-huh. Likewise, ye wives. Ye what? Ye wives. So you find yourself to be a married. You are, oh, you are a wife. Come on. Be in subjection to your own husband. Did your husband right. teach you that? Oh, well, he didn't teach you that because what? That he's going against God. Read on. That if any obey not the word, uh -huh. they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wise. Read. Why, while they behold your chaste conversation uh -huh. coupled with fear. Verse 3. Whose adorning, let it not be that outward adorning of plaiting the hair uh -huh. and of wearing the gold or of putting on a, of apparel. So reading down this chapter is going to show you, my sister, that what? This is how you're supposed to be rolling. This is how you're supposed to what? Reverence your husband. That's Don't go right. off your own will, but what? Follow what Christ has, right. has laid down for us. That's Dang. right. All right, so... I don't really like talking about Kiki that often, but she don't she don't rear her ugly head up again. <laughs> right. So last <laughs> scripture on Kiki, then we about to get into today's show because yes, we got a lot right. to cover today. Right. That's right. All right, uh, Revelations three. Let's get that one because remember earlier we talked about chasing the gold. All right, chasing that that almighty dollar that a lot of our people are lost or cha get lost chasing that. They, right. Yes, if anything. She has to understand that she's lost herself through covetousness. Right. All right, right. not lost herself in a relationship where the man was actually being a man and putting his foot down when you was dressing appropriately. Right. Nah, you lost yourself by listening to everybody else. Mm. Read this for us. The book of Revelations, chapter 3 and verse 1. 17. Verse 17. Come on. The book of Revelations, chapter 3 and verse 17. Because thou sayest, I am rich 
and increased with goods. Right, that's what she says. I'm rich, I'm increased with goods, she's gonna get another role. Right. I think she just hosted some award show, so right. she's climbing up the Hollywood right. ladder. Right. All right, read the verse again. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with good. Come on. And have need of nothing. That's how she looks at it. I, I don't need a husband. I don't need all of this stuff. I'm good. I've made it. I'm going to be all right. Come on. And knoweth not that thou art wretched. That she's what? Wretched. Come on. And miserable. Uh huh. And poor. And poor. And blind. And naked. And naked. Why, why is she miserable? blind and naked because she doesn't have the laws of right. God. Right. All right, she's poor because right now, if she continues in that lifestyle, she is not going to inherit the kingdom of heaven That's right. because she said that her riches come from come from monetary wealth here right. in Babylon right. rather than your riches being in the kingdom of heaven. That's right. So, once again, Lord's will you repent, sister. Right. And for all of you following That's her right. example, Lord's will y'all repent too. That's hey, right. Okay, but before we get to our first segment, <laughs> on, uh, we need y'all to subscribe. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, we need everybody oh, to yeah. subscribe, right. like, the button comment. Is this is um, IUIC Tallahassee 2. Two? That's right. Remember, the dragon is raw. The dragon right. shut down our other page, bro. Right. right. Mm. You know we can't do nothing from that page. So let's make sure that we subscribe, That's like, right. share. This is our new page, so we need everybody to support. That's, That's right. right. I got to get our numbers back up. All right. That's right. I see y'all ready? All right, play the clip. All right, this is the World Weather Report brought to you by the Writings on the Wall radio show. That Let's get right. into it. What we got, what we got. Samson, are you over there bench pressing, bro? <laughs> 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 All right, read that, read that. China's Damn. earthquake, 7.1 magnitude quake, jolts China's Xinjiang. Damn! Can you speak, uh, you speak Mandarin now? Read that. A 7.1 magnitude earthquake jolted Wuxi County in Aksu Prefecture in China, Xinjiang. Hey, let's do this. He going to read it while it plays. Just read faster. Yes, sir. All right, go ahead. The main quake was followed by a succession of aftershocks as strong as a 5.3 in magnitude. My gosh. Oh. <laughs> Damn! Like somebody in that rocking chair. <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> the epicenter was situated in Wuxi County, within the border area between China and Kyrgyzstan. The earthquake was also felt in various cities and prefectures across Xinjiang. No casualties have been reported so far. All right, you can take that down. Hey, and, and you know what I've noticed, but I'll be reading comments. Brothers and sisters, I read the comments. Sometimes brothers and like, no, I can't say brothers. Sometimes sisters get offended by our banter, banter or our, right. our comedic <laughs> genius amongst each other. Right, right. Bro, we we just be, it's just interaction. Right. Right. I brotherly sister, love right here. Uh, right. You know, yeah. a, somebody got offended uh, last week when we was, uh, talking about the Chinese Yuan or Wan yes. or, or Jean, uh, whatever it's called. You want, Many, it's you want. No, we, I don't accept that. But, <laughs> but when you said you lived in China, right. as if I didn't know he lived in China, right? right, right. Sister's like, it, it just hurt my heart when the captain didn't accept that his brother who actually lived in China. I was like, sis, what are you doing right now? Right. Right. So understand this. Hey, I just wanted to touch it because just in case we, because you know, you got to make sure the younger ones are there. Right. Hey, Hey, we love each other. That's right. It's brotherly love up here. Bring it out. Yes, but I did right. want to say something because me and Aaron was laughing about the rocking chair earlier. <laughs> um, give me uh, uh, Proverbs 1 because the most high, he got a sense of humor too. Right. And Bring the reason why it's funny is because the Lord said he is the only God, but yet the other nations, they set up their idols. Right. Right. right? right. right. So don't be mad. When the most I send these earthquakes Don't get mad at me. and the pestilence <laughs> right. and all of these other tempests on the earth. Because right? he said this. Well, if you don't want to listen to this, what are you going to do? Read what you got. 
The book of Proverbs. Come on, Reed. I need you to read right Good like Stephen. Yes, sir. You, you, you're lacking tonight. Yes, sir. I got you. All right. Come on. Yes, sir. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 2. 26. 26. What's oh. wrong with this guy? I'm sorry. Does this guy have his, his coffee for tonight? He got that juice. Does he, he have his snack? He has granola. He drinking he something. Drinking okay. juice. He got, he got his shoes off. He relaxed. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what, what it is. Yeah, he can't. Uh, he I will. We will put the camera. We ain't going to do you like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's, let's get focused, reader. Yes, Read what you got. Let's the go. book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 26. Come on. I also will laugh at your calamity. You see that? The, God says that he will laugh at your calamity. Meaning what? Right. When he brings the destruction to that's you. That's right. When you're in a, when you're in a bad spot, he's going to laugh at your calamity. Right. Read on. I will mock when your fear comes. Cometh. Come on. When your fear cometh as desolation, uh -huh. and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. You see that? Your, your destruction cometh as that tempest. You see that? Mm, that's right. Mosai is that's laughing right. when he's sending these storms and these earthquakes right. yeah. to the heathen. Come on. You know when right. distress and anguish cometh upon you, Read. then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Come on. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Nah, they ain't going to find it in that day, because mm. they've mocked and blasphemed. And they have had a part in the captivity and the That's slavery right. of right. the children of Israel. Right. Yeah. Most yeah. not happy Bring with that up. thing, bro. Bring it up. Hey, real quick. The hell is this? Real quick. Um, something else happened in China right after this. Uh, read that. Landslide buries 47 people in China's southwestern Yunnan province. Right. So there, there was no casualties at the beginning. Then remember, you had that uh, aftershock. That was a 5.8, if I'm not right, mistaken. Right, right, right. So you had an earthquake that was 7.1. An aftershock that was 5.8, and Dang. also there was a landslide in China as well. Dang. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can hey, read that, man. Y'all crazy. Read that. Rescue efforts underway in mountainous area of southwestern China after pre-dawn disaster. Mm -hmm. Rescue efforts are underway in southwestern China's mountainous Yunnan province after at least seven... At least 47 people were buried in a landslide. Mm. State news agency Xinhua reported that the disaster struck just before 6 a.m. or 2200 GMT on Sunday in the village of Liang Shu, beneath the town of Tang Fang right, in so Xinjiang the, County. Right, so the Mosai is jacking up these heathen, man. Right. Moab. Uh, it's actually, it's happening to everybody. But right. remember, no, right. give me, um, a lot of people don't know or aren't sure, but our people are over there too. I know yes, when sir. you was over there, you saw our people, yes, right? Yes, sir. All right, so does that is that is that help be actually acknowledging that Officer <laughs> David lived in China? <laughs> so yes, he did live in China. All praise to the right. Father. That's all right. And was that uh, so when you read the book of Sirach, it talks about traveling. Yes. All sir. right. So he's a man yeah. well travel. Yes, all right. Sir. All right. So watch this. I want to show you something real quick. Give me the book of Isaiah chapter forty nine because we also got to remember our people are scattered over there. All right. A lot of times we only uh talk about the heathen but nah we're we're scattered everywhere right okay i want to show you that real quick uh, isaiah 49 13. Bring it the book of isaiah chapter 49 and verse 13. come on sing oh heavens and be joyful actually o earth. start at verse 12 my apologies yes sir verse 12, 12. uh-huh behold these shall come from far and lo these from the north and from the west. Come on. And these from the land of Sinem. Right. The land of Sinem. Uh, IT pulled that up. So as he's pulling that up, I got one more script I want to touch as well. Uh, it was Isaiah 43, 5. And we're coming right back to this. So what a lot of our people got to realize, even though these uh, atrocities, these uh, tempests, these earthquakes are taking place, landslides, our people are scattered everywhere. So uh, actually, 2 Maccabees 1 and 1. I'm, I'm liking this scripture a lot in these last days as well. We got to continue to pray three times a day, brothers and That's sisters, right. That's for right. the destruction of our enemies. But we also got to pray for the welfare of our own people as well. Right. Okay? We got to keep one another in prayer. Read that verse for us. The book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 1 and verse 1. Come on. The brethren. The what? The brethren. So our brothers and sisters, come on. The Jew uh -huh. that be at Jerusalem. That be at Jerusalem, which is our homeland. And and why are all of these Christians mad at the Book of Clarence? Right. Right. Why are they mad Bring about that thing? Yeah. We, we <laughs> are, brother, our people, black people, right. Right. That's right. we are the true inhabitants of the land of Jerusalem. That's right. 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 Contrary to popular belief. That's right. right. your white man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, read it again. Read it again. Yes, sir. <laughs> the brethren, the Jews Come that on. be at Jerusalem uh -huh. and in the land of Judea. Wish unto the brethren, the Jews, that are throughout Egypt. Right, throughout Egypt. That's parts of Africa. Come on. Health and peace. Right. We got to wish each other health and peace wherever we are scattered. Right. Right. Now I read that one in Isaiah, and That's then I see right. y'all got the um definition for us. 
With Sanim? All right, cool. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 43 and verse 5. Come on. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east. Right. The most I will bring the seed from the east. What's in the east? You got Asia. China. Right. China. All right, come on. And gather thee from the west. From the west. Where's the west? Where we at right now? The Americas. All right, come on. I will say to the north, mm -hmm. give up. And to the, the, the north, that's going into Europe. Come on. And to the south, mm -hmm. keep not back. Right. The south, that's going into uh, the Arab nations right there. Okay. Saudi Arabia, all of that. That's the south right there. And guess what? Our people are scattered over there. Yes, and guess what they call the CDs? That's right. Right. We're called different things in different uh, land masses. Right. Right. Okay. Yes, all right. That's it on that? No, sir. Okay. Come on. Bring my sons from far. Do what? Bring my sons from far. Come on. And my daughters from the ends uh -huh. of the earth. Uh-huh. That's the answer. Right? That's it right there. So now, remember we was in uh, Isaiah 49, right? Yes, sir. About Sanim. All right. Pull that up for us real quick, please. Sanim, the land of sin, Hebrew or Sanim. From Hebrew, the inhabitants of the land of sin or people of sin is a biblical hapax legimon that appears in Isaiah 49 and 12. Behold, these shall come from far, and lo, these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of Sanim. Read on. Some English versions simplified transliterate, transliterate the word. Other translate the Hebrew as seen, as swan. And still others associate sin with China. With where? China. With China. Break with China, which is in the east. Right. All right. So go back to um, Isaiah 49 and 12. All right. So make sure we praying for the destruction of our enemies, but That's we right. also praying for the Lord to keep us in these uh, last that's days. Right. That's right. All right. right. Read that for us, please. The book of Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 12. Go ahead. Behold, these shall come from far, and lo, these from the north. Come on. And from the west. And these from the land of Sanim. Uh huh. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains. For the Lord hath comforted his people and will have mercy upon his afflicted. Right. He's going to have mercy upon his afflicted. That's right. Um, real quick, let me get Job 28. And I just want to touch this, and I know you officers have something. Uh, yeah, give me Job 28 and 22. Watch this. The book of Job, chapter 28 and verse 22. Come on. Destruction and death say, we have heard the fame thereof with our ears. Right, it says destruction mm. and death say, we have heard the fame thereof with our ears. Watch this. God understandeth the way thereof. Come on. And he knoweth the place thereof. Why? Because he's the one sending the destruction. Right. All right, come on, watch this. For he looketh to the ends of the earth uh -huh. and seeth under the whole heaven. Right, so he looketh to the east, he looketh to the west. He sees He sees everything under the whole heaven. Come wow. on. To make the weight for the wind. To make the weight for the what? The mm. wind. For the winds. It's going into the storms. Come on. And he weigheth the waters by measure. Read. When he made a decree for the rain. When he make a decree for the what? The rain. For the rain, come on. And away for the lightning of the thunder. Uh huh. Then did he see it and declare it. He prepared it, yea, and searched it out. Right. So understand, floods or landslides, mudslides, they are coming from the Father. That's the, that's the rain, the torrential rain. Right. Uh -huh. That's the what I was looking for. <laughs> torrential. That's the torrential rain. That's, that's right. what that is right there. Go ahead, Austin. That's yes, right. Yeah, let me get uh, Isaiah uh, 24 real quick. Start at verse 18. Bring it up. Hey, because just like uh, Cap was bringing out about the the storms, the landslide, watch this scripture right here. Read what you got. The book of Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 18. Read. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. that he who fleeth from the noise of the fear uh -huh. shall fall into the pit. Read. And he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare. Uh-huh. For the windows... The what? From the windows... As you read, like, in Genesis 8, the windows do what? The, the most high bring out the rains from the windows of heaven. Read. For the windows from on high are open. Uh-huh. And the foundations of the earth do shake. Do what? Do shake. Because that's how you got those earthquakes. Read on. The earth is utterly broken down. Uh-huh. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The read. The Read. earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. Because what? When a, you walk into a drunkard, they what? They have no stability. They going back and forth. Read. And shall be removed like a cottage. Uh-huh. And the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it. Read. And it shall fall. It shall do what? It shall fall. Read. And not rise again. Guess what? That's what's going to happen to the so-called white man. That's right. Esau, according to the Bible. That's right. And M-O-F, too. 
That's right. And more. And more. All, all, of them. all the other nations. Hey, uh, right. just just to show that, um, you, we all we all understand. Well, those who actually take notes and study and pay attention to Bishop's classes. Right. That's right. To back up That's the officer. Right. Yes, we know that a sect of Esau is going down first. That's that's uh, Babylon the Great. All right, that's your friendly neighborhood white man Amen. here in the States. We understand you know, that thing, right. okay? Um, and then the other nations, they're getting bound up, and they're going to go into captivity. Right, right. right. All right? Oh, but praise. the reason why I said Moab too, because remember it say, uh, shall fall and not rise again. Mm -hmm. Remember what this is, what, what it's all about. It, the story of the Bible is about the Israelites and the Israelites only. That's right. That's right. Okay, it's about our rise, that's our right. fall from grace, and our redemption. Okay, that's what it's all about. Give me that one in uh, Jeremiah 46 and 28. All right, just to show you, like I said, Moab too. They ain't going to rise again after, after uh, Babylon falls. And you know that's right. And after that thousand years of servitude. Because they got to go into slavery too. Right. For what yes, they sir. did to us. Right. All right, read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 46 and verse 28. Go ahead. Fear thou not, O Jacob, my so, servant. So the scripture says it's going to come a time where we don't fear any more. All right, mm. Jacob, that's the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. All right, that make up the 12 that's tribes right. of Israel. Come on. Saith the Lord, uh -huh. for I am with thee. For God said he's with us and only us. Yes, Come on. Right. For I will make a full end. For God will do what? Make a full end. A full end of who? Of all the nations. Of Moab. Yes, that's right. right. Amen. That's right. All of them. All of them. All of them. All right, get him on side right plus. Oh, man. Man. That's <laughs> some good news right there. That's, that's good news. news. That's all right. That's, that's all right. the gospel. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what else we got, IT? What else we got? Major 5.6 magnitude earthquake shakes up Colombia. Wow. No major damage or injuries reported. All right, come on. A 5.6 magnitude earthquake struck in Colombia on Friday, according to the United States Geological Survey. Right, and uh, I don't ever want anybody to mistake it while we go over this. Matthew 24, let's read that. Bring it out. Hey, we are getting close. We get yes, close. Yes, Bro, the most high. Y'all got to think about the, ma the, the, ma the mastermind of the Father and right. how everything is planned out. Bring it out. The Most High allowed or changed the mind of Esau to allow them to let the Book of Clarence Man. go right. into right. theaters across <laughs> the world. That's yeah. right. For the first time. Yes, sir. I take yeah. that back. Shouts out to Joseph's dreams. Hey, hey, that's right. Not dreams, but dreams. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> oh, praise. Shout out to Joseph's dreams. That's right. Matthew, you know, uh, Matthew 2, okay? Yes, sir. We got, we, got, we got to shout that out first because I ain't going to lie. I really believe that our teaching, the teaching of the prophets, is what sparked a film like The Book of yes. Clarence. That's right. right. Yes, sir. To, actually, to actually see a film where it's historically accurate. Right. To have all our people, different shades of black and brown, right. in Jerusalem, and then to see the Roman centurions coming through Jerusalem, right. giving us hell. Yes, right. Exactly as the Bible's written. So yes, we get the most out of the of that thing. Oh, 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 to the most you know, for all of those people talking about blasphemy, right. well, blasphemy, blasphemy you. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Shit. Blasphemy for you. Right. The niggas are crazy. That's right. Nah, man, you got you to gotta understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. Hey, are, are people going to go into that movie like, damn, coming out feeling good and right. don't even know why? Right. Because right. yes, yes, for the first time, they, bro, Hey, spoiler alert, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Bro, ears. when the 12 came out. Man, out. Oh, out the order, the order, the right. order. Yeah. In order like that, and then parted it, yeah. and Christ walked through. You better That's say. right. Bro, I, I, I'm pretty sure. It's mm -hmm. kind of familiar, right? They watched <laughs> Passover 2023 bring in Dallas, Texas. Bring it out. That's yes, right. Bring I, it out. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Because, right. bro. Come on, bro. That's right. How how would he know to do that? Right. right. Yes, sir. I, I'm gonna just put. I'm gonna just leave that right there. That's right. Let's get back to the weather report. Right. Let's get. Because we we got we got a segment for that. But uh, I don't even know what I. What were we talking about? That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> I'm I'm Matthew 24. Earthquakes in China. Oh, Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matthew 24. Matthew 24. <laughs> Read it. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 7. Go ahead. For nation shall rise against nation. Come on. And kingdom against kingdom. Uh huh. And there shall be famines and pestilences right. and earthquakes. Right. So nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. 
remember the nations you got you got um you got uh Amalek mm -hmm. uh against Ishmael, wow. okay? And then you got kingdom against kingdom. You got Ukraine and Russia. Right. Right. Those are the same people. Right. <laughs> Y'all got to understand it. That's what that's talking go. about. Kingdom that's against kingdom. Right. They all are the same nation, right. but their kingdoms are warring against each Bring other. Right. Right. So you got to be able to see that. That's exactly what's taking place right now. What are we reading? The Bible. That's right. That's right. Read that verse one more game. Watch this. Sure. For nation shall rise against nation. Come on. And kingdom against kingdom. White on white crime. We love it. <laughs> Get a real side round of applause. Right. Right. Let's go. I love oh, it. Oh, crazy. Right. Uh, it makes my teeth white. Right. Yes, it do. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. And there shall be famines. And there shall be famines. And pestilences. And pestilence. We're going to get to that in the rundown. Uh, we didn't get to go over it last week, but we're going to bring that thing out. Come on. And earthquakes. And what? Earthquakes. And earthquakes. In diverse places. And many different places around the world. Where? What What times are we living in? The last uh, day. days. That's right. That's, that's you better right. believe it. That's right. Yes, sir. Uh, let's keep it rolling, IT. Let's keep it rolling. What else we got? Bring it out. So we got the one in China, the earthquake, the mudslide in China. Right. And Columbia. Uh, Columbia earthquake. What's yep. this? Damage after 5.6. Okay, shouts out to IT. Okay. Took it down. Took that down. All right, so right there's some it. damage. Okay, read that. Damage after 5.6 magnitude earthquake shook at Aura Store in Virginia of Res 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 Columbia. Okay, okay. All right, play that. Play that. Make it full screen, please. Bring it on. <laughs> wow! Well, don't spill the damn chocolate milk. <laughs> nah, man, that's our people down there. Colombia, Uruguay, you understand? That's our people down that way, so we got to keep them in prayers. Right. But, hey, our people also got to do what? Repent from the that's idolatry. Right. That's right. Bring it up. Okay? No, our people right. got to no. repent from the idolatry. What the hell is this? All right. Hey, let's get that real quick. And uh, what is it? Romans 21? Bring it up. Not, not Romans, but Acts 21. I'm sorry. I don't said the wrong book. All right. Uh, Acts 21 and verse 25. Watch this. The book of Acts, chapter 21 and verse 25. Come on. As touching the Gentiles. As touching who? The Gentiles. Remember, the, the, the northern kingdom, which the Gentiles are actually Israelites. Right. right. Okay. That's Our right. people down That's there in right. Columbia. Come on. Tribe of uh, Asher down there. Come on. Which believe. Which what? Which believe. Which believe. All right. We had a lot of our people during these times that were scattered abroad who did accept Christ. Right. Who did believe That's in the right. true depiction of black Messiah. Jesus Christ. See, I keep going back to the book of Clarence. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Read. We have written and concluded uh -huh. that they observe no such thing. They, they observe no such things as what? Come on. Save only that they keep themselves from things offered to idols. Things offered to what? Idols. Because that's what our people are caught up in. Right. So right. they got to keep themselves from things offered to idols. All right. Bring Stop worshiping the damn little, the little uh, statues and the little idols and your saints. Right. Stop doing that. Right. Stop yeah. kissing and the white from man's blood. feet. <laughs> No, go ahead, read it. Go ahead. Read it. And from blood. And from and, blood, come on. And from strangled. Uh-huh. And from fornication. And from what? Fornication. And from fornication. Is some more on that? No, sir, that was it. All right, you all right with me. Go to Acts 15, too. That's Bring right. it out. That's go to Acts 15 and say the same thing. This is what you got to understand. The reason why in uh, the last chapter in the book of Acts, it doesn't say amen is because we are continuation of the books of the I mean, Acts right. of the Apostles. Right. Right. Sir. So That's when you right. read the book of Acts, you have to put you gotta put yourself in it That's right. and realize what we're doing when we go on the quest, Message. when we go on these different mission trips with for uh, with the Booster Club's funding. Shouts out to the Booster oh, Club. Crazy. You understand? When we go on these different missions, we gotta realize exactly what we're doing. Yes, right. Right. Okay, when we when we talk to the brethren and to the sisters in these different congregations scattered abroad, is it the same thing that our forefathers was doing? I, I want to show right. you something. Give me Acts chapter 15 and give me 22. I want you to read a, a little bit faster. Watch yes, this. The book of Acts chapter 15 and verse 22. Go ahead. Then pleased it the apostles and elders with the whole church to send chosen men of their own company to Antioch, Antioch Come on. with Paul and Barnabas, namely Judas surnamed Barnabas. And Silas, chief men among the brethren. Watch this. And they wrote letters by them after this manner. Right, and they wrote letters by them after this manner. You know another na name for a letter 
is an epistle. Uh, you sure, understand? Sure. When you read the book, uh, when you read the New Testament, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's it's 80 percent. Paul wrote 80 percent of the New Testament right, right. by all of his different letters that he sent out to the various churches. OK, read the apostles and elders and brethren. Read that verse again. Verse 23. Yes, sir. Come on. And they wrote letters by them after this manner. Mm -hmm. The apostles and elders and brethren send greetings unto the brethren which are of the Gentiles. Which are of the what? The Gentiles. Showing you what? Just like we read in 2 Maccabees 1 and 1. It wasn't only the Jews, That's but guess right. what? The Gentiles were our brethren too. That's That's right. Why? Because these were the Israelites. Right. Right. These ain't yep. no damn... Uh, uh, Edomite blooded Greeks. <laughs> right. No, these are Israelites who are scattered abroad. Come on. In Antioch and Syria uh -huh. and Cilicia. Right, we were scattered abroad. Do me a favor. Jump down to 25. Read a bit quicker. Verse 25. Come on. It seemed good unto us being assembled with one accord to send chosen men unto you with our beloved Barnabas right. and Paul. So this is a, a message to the brothers who are trying to uh, be up and coming evangelists. And mission, you know, missionaries, prophets. All right, you got you got to be chosen. Meaning what? You got to be around. Right. Just like Officer Samson said before. That's right. If you trying to if you trying to do the great works like the bishops and deacons, mm -hmm. and don't nobody know you for what you do, how you expect to be chosen to go on these types of missions? Right. If you disrespectful, how you how do you think for one second that you're going to get to travel and do this? Right. You're not. Right. You're not. Bring it you up. have to be chosen wow. to do this work. Come on. That's right. Men that have has hazarded. They're lies for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Right, and these are not ordinary men. Understand, the, the life expectancy of a prophet ain't that long. Right. Right. Okay? So we, when we read the scriptures, we got to put ourselves in the Bible right. and realize right. when we go on this trip, these trips to teach the gospel, is a high chance, a high possibility that we may not make it back home. That's right. Right. But that's all right. Yes, sir. That's all right. That's all right. All right. All right, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. <laughs> nah, you could. Uh, <laughs> jump down to uh, 28. Watch this. Verse 28. Come on. For it seemed good to the Holy Ghost and to us to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary things. Right, than these necessary things. There's a lot of commandments. There's a, there's a lot. This Bible's a big book. But these are the necessary things right. that they wanted to deliver unto the Gentiles. Yeah. Read. Watch that, this. That ye abstain from meats offered to idols. You see that? Why? Because the Gentiles... Back then and present day are still uh, are occupied right. in idols. idols. That's, right. That's right. That's what you got to understand. So this is why you see, and I think we went over this the week prior. This is why you see the destruction coming to our brothers and sisters down in South America right. and wherever we're scattered. Why? Because our people are still in the midst of idolatry. Right. All right, read That's that verse right. again. Verse 29. Come on. That ye abstain from meats offered to idols uh -huh. and from blood and from things strangled. And from fornication, come on. From which, if ye keep yourselves, ye shall do well. Uh huh. Fare ye well. So the Most High is telling us, stop sinning, and we'll be all right. That's, That's what right. the scriptures say. That's right. I'm sorry. Go That's ahead, officers. Right. Hey, y'all, praise this cat, man. He was bringing that out. Hey, That's right. Give me Psalms on the 60, real quick. On the 60 and one. We are gonna read down to verse three or four. On really quick. All right, to read that reader. The Book of Psalms, chapter 60 and verse one. Read. Oh God. Thou hast cast us off. All right, on we've been cast off. All right, being scattered around the world like we are, all right, as the Israelites, is a punishment from God. Right, right. Uh, all right, it's the prophet's job to bring us all back together now. All right, on that's what we're doing. Read. Thou hast scattered us. He did what? Scattered us. Uh-huh. Thou hast been displeased. How? Uh, because he was on a displeased with us. Um, because of our sins, read. Yes, oh, turn thyself to us again. Uh huh. Thou hast made the earth to tremble. So you see the earthquakes. Right. All right, God is shaking the earth up. Every day. He, he is making the earth to tremble, read. Right. Thou hast broken it. He broken it, read. That heal the breaches thereof. Uh huh. For it shaketh. It shaketh. All right, all right. When you feel these earthquakes, oh, the God is trying to wake up the children of That's Israel right. to come back. All right, to your true heritage, read. Thou hast showed thy people hard things. All right, uh, all right, and who has went through harder things on it than us? Bring it out. Nobody. On the slavery. Right. All right, Jim Crow, all these things are right. still happening. Yeah, because God is trying to get our, our attention, read. Yes, Thou hast made us to drink the wine of astonishment. We are drinking, all right, the wine of astonishment. People look at us and be like, ain't no way. Wow. Those are the people of God. Right. right. 
Right. Tommy but the book of Clarence yes. has showed it clearly. <laughs> but I was just about to say, I was just about to say that, bro. <laughs> right. Showed hey. it clearly. Go ahead. But he said that. <laughs> yes, That's sir. why they fear us. Yes, sir. That's because right. think about it. If you done this to anybody else, you would have literally eradicated the whole nation. You would have wow. exterminated them. Everybody gone. Because that's what all wow. the nations want to do to us. Yeah, right. They want to destroy us, but that's why they fear us. Because no matter what they do, no matter how they come against us, they cannot defeat they us. Can. Right. They, can. they can't down. defeat us. Yes, sir. And uh, we're going to go into that oh, a little bit more. Yes, that was, uh, what's his name? Jedediah the Terrible. Yes, yes sir. Jedediah yeah. the Terrible. Yeah, yeah man. Hey, man, that's some good stuff right there. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Real quick, Jeremiah 1610, just to back up what Captain Officer Dave was bringing out. You know what I'm saying? Because the earthquake hit uh, Northern Kingdom over there in Columbia. You know what I'm saying? And this goes for, you know, all of Israel. When we find ourselves on the bottom, we find ourselves, you know, still in the project, still in the body. All of these places where what? We're on the, in the bottom. We got to ask ourselves, why? why? Why is this happening to us? What do we do to end up in this place? Can we read that? The book of Jeremiah, chapter 16, verse 10. Uh-huh. And it shall come to pass. When thou shalt show this people all these words. And that's what they that's what Moses showed us. He showed us what will happen if we keep God's commandments and if we win against God's commandments. Read on. And they shall say unto thee, Wherefore hath the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? And that's what you should be finding out in your church. If you're going inside church and you're not hearing why we're on the bottom, you're not hearing why we're getting gunned down, Message. why they what? They're getting mad that what they're showing true uh, biblical images in the movies, but what? They're, they're cool with showing white images, but if you're not hearing these types of answers, are you really learning the truth inside your church? Read on. Or what is our iniquity? What is our iniquity? What do we do to get God mad? Come on. Or what is our sin? Read. That we have committed against the Lord, our God. What do we do? Read on. Then shalt thou say unto them, because your fathers have forsaken me. And that's what we did. Our fathers have forsaken God. Read on. Say of the Lord. And have walked after other gods. And that's what, that idolatry, that believing right. in the Virgin Mary, right. believing in wow. these white images, come on. And have served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me. Read. And have not kept my law. And have not did what? Kept my law. And that's why we're going through the things that we're going through. That's right. That's right. You all that's right. right. You all right. Hey, man, let's keep it moving, man. Hey, sheesh. It's going to be a long show. <laughs> all right, play that, play that. San Diego right. under state of emergency after torrential flooding. So, hey, this is in the States. You had torrential flooding over wow. there in uh, China, yes, caused sir. the flood, the right. landslide. Now you got it in uh, San Diego, California. That's right. Wow. Hey, That's you were just over there, bro. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. I got All people right. near there. Mm -hmm. Hey, we got, hey, and um, prayers up for the body that's out there in San Diego right, right, as well. Right, yes, right. sir. All right, play that. Prayers for Stop what you're doing now and take a look at your screens. That's really crucial for this story. This is showing that absolutely massive flooding in San Diego. The city experienced that immense flooding from heavy rain yesterday. Wow! You can see the streets are completely covered in water. It's actually able to move parked cars. The area is under a state and of emergency. The, you right see now. that? You see how she said that? It's actually able to move parked cars. Cracker? I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, oh, uh, cracker? <laughs> do you know? Do you know who's doing that? Bring it out, Cap. How dare she? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go, go, go back. Yes, yes. I was just saying, cause you know, California's been in a drought. You know, what I'm saying all these years, and then now, mm -hmm. when the Most High wants to, he could just bring water where it was. It's moving cars. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Go back to it. Go back to it, please as more rain is expected this morning. So, you know, I'm curious. I'm not sure that was a parked car. The windshield wipers were on. No. Oh. That kind of leads me to believe that somebody might have been in there. Lord have Possible. mercy. Yeah. I, I don't know. We'll check on what's that, been? Hey, IT, now. do me a favor. There were some other videos in the weather, uh, in the uh, weather chat. You know what I'm talking about. Because they're trying to say it wasn't parked cars. Pull up those videos. Right. These devils right here. They, obviously, this is an act of God, but right. they're still trying to take away the credibility. Right. Right. Yes, sir. Officers, y'all had something uh, while he uh, searched for that video? Yes, sir. Uh, Isaiah 29 and 6. Let's <laughs> see if that was the hand of God. Let's see because I'll. Uh oh. Oh, IT. IT. <laughs> hey, what? Go ahead. Go Let's on. get it. <laughs> Isaiah 29 and 6. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 6. Uh huh. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord Visit of hosts. Who? Of the Lord of hosts. Of the Lord of hosts. The so-called blasting Spanish Native American Lord. Read. With thunder. Wait, what? With thunder. Uh-huh. And with earthquake. And with what? With earthquake. He's making all these thunders. He's making all these earthquakes. You hearing the voice of the Lord. Read. And great noise. And great noises. Read. With storms. With storms. The rainstorms. 
That is the hand of the Most High God, the God of Israel and none else. Read. And right. tempest. Uh -huh. And the flame of devouring fire. Guess what? All these things right here in the hands of the Most High God. Right. Right. He coming to bring destruction to That's us. Right. Hey, IT, y'all got that? All right. Pull that up for us, please. Bring it out. Is that the same one or is this different? That's different. Could you give me a, there's like, you had like two videos of that. Okay. Uh, officers, another, is that it? Is that the other one? All right, play that one. That's a park car. It was. And these heathens, that's hey. watch out. That's why um the Bible say in the wisdom of Solomon um 18 and 7. That's why our salvation, it gotta be the destruction of the enemies. Right. Because what they do, they'll rock our people back to sleep. Right, right, right. That's right. why wow. we gotta be on the street 24-7, bring out the truth of this Bible. Let's That's read that. Right. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18 and verse 7. I didn't think it was a Paul called the um, had the shield wipers on. Shh, be quiet. Read oh, right, God, right. Talk about it. <laughs> Man, saying some crazy <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Watch this. They're they gonna get this word. Watch this. Read. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18 and verse 7. Uh -huh. So if thy people was accepted both the salvation uh -huh. of the righteous. Salvation of the righteous. You so-called blessing the Spanish Native American. If you keep the commandments, you are righteous. Read. And destruction of the enemy. We can't get our salvation until there be destruction of our enemies. Right. So be quiet and get this word. Right, right, right. Hey, hey. Uh all right, that's long, bro. <laughs> yeah. That was a long weather report, B. Uh, is there that's anything right. else, or is it, that was that's it, right? right? All right, do it quick. Do it fast. Do it fast. Do it fast. Because I know we got something in the war report. I already know. All right. Uh, not. Nah, that's the same thing, so go to the next one. What's this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Read that. Watch this. This thing funny, bro. Watch this. Video shows massive waves crashing Army base in Marshall Islands. causing. Hey, IT, pull up Marshall <laughs> Islands. People don't know where Marshall Islands is at. I know I don't. <laughs> so pull up where the Marshall Islands is located, man, so the people can see. So, and give me the one in uh, Habakkuk 2 real quick. There's a Habakkuk 2 and 5. So the Marshall Islands, this is um, another area where the United States military is, has a, um, a station there. They're stationed there, right? Mm, a military right, so, base, okay. excuse military. me. Message. All right, read this verse and then go back to it. Watch this. The book of Beckett, chapter 2 and verse 5. Come on. Yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine, uh -huh. he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home. Right, neither keepeth at home. Neither keepeth at home. So he's everywhere. So the Most High knows that. So he said, all right, I'm going to meet you in the Marshall Islands, and I'm going to smack you with a wave. Right. This thing is beautiful right here. Where's the Marshall Islands at, IT? You pull it up. Right, right, right. Over there in the Oceana District, okay, uh, Isaiah 11 and 11 been bringing it out. Our people is over there in, uh, in the uh, Oceana uh, right. area as well. That's uh, right. Okay, so you got a military, American military base over there in the Oceana mm -hmm. region. Oceana. All right, so play, uh, play the video on this. Uh, on this, watch this. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a second. Is it the same video? Wait, is that in the article? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I just wanted to make sure. All right, play that. Re read it for us, uh, soldier. Yes, sir. Strong weather-driven waves damaged a U.S. Army base. All right, play that. Ah! Oh, got slapped! This, that is, that is oh, precision crazy. accuracy That's right. by the most high. That's, right. That's some good stuff! Right. right. What? What? That's good! That was good. That was good. Rewind it. <laughs> Play it again. Play it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Stop messing with the children of Israel. Yeah. Right, right. Right. You see that thing right there? Play that. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Damn. Clearing the runway on Roy, Roy Namar and assessing his safety is our top priority. 
Now we have evacuated personnel oh, not man. required for the initial response. Man, y'all crazy as hell. Hey, hey, uh, what y'all what y'all got on? It ain't gonna be hey, on water, but fire next time. Hey, right, right, real quick, uh, to go with that right there, on give me Psalms ninety three, on read three and four. All right, because uh, it shows you the power of God. All right, all right, the scriptures back it up. Read it. The book of Psalms, chapter 93 and verse 3. Read. The floods have lifted up. Uh-huh. Oh, Lord, the floods have lifted up their voice. So the f- <laughs> so the floods is talking. Right. White woman, get your hey, ass out. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. The, the floods is saying, what did the five fingers say to the face? <laughs> Slack. <laughs> Read on. Read. Oh, bloody. <laughs> Read. The That's floods lift right up there. their ways. Uh-huh. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters. So you mm. better hear the voice of the Lord in them waters right. coming straight for you. Read on. Yay. Finish it up. Then the mighty waves of the sea. All right. So that's, that's <laughs> Now that's some good stuff right, right. there. All oh, praise. <laughs> hey, let's get a most high round of applause for oh, that. That's praise. good right there. All oh, praises. Yeah, that concludes today's uh, weather report. Yeah. That, was, that was a mighty weather report. That's <laughs> right. right. All praise to the Father. Hey, y'all know what it is, man. We're going to keep this train that's rolling. Right. That's right. We'll keep it going. Hey, you know, I see y'all right. ready? All right, play the clip. All right, this is the wars. <laughs> Get it right, you IT. You got love, IT. Get that music going. This is the Wars and Rumors of Wars report brought to you by the Writings on the Wall radio show. That's, That's right. right. Can you turn my war music up, please? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I need my war music. Right. Hey, they consistent. All right. All right. Leap so bad. all praises, all praises, man. We back, you know. It, you know you know, something about to go down when, yeah. the, when, the, when the backdrop turn red. You're that's right. Oh, yeah. Something's about to go that's down. You know, that's right. So I want you to play that first video, man. We, let's get into it. I ain't gonna lie, this is my favorite segment now. Yes, sir. I love the war report. All right, read that for us, please. We are on the brink of war, warns ex-Trump advisor. All right. I want to bring in Katie McFarland, who has long experience with our Iran problem. Good Good morning, Katie. Good morning. Are we on the brink of war? We are. Are we headed for war? We don't know. The Iranians are at war with us. They've been at war with us since the, the Iranian Revolution, and their goal is America out of the Middle East, death to Israel, kill all the Jews. So that's they've not wavered. Now, are we on the brink of war? What hey, I'm ro- worried about. Hey, rewind that back for me. I'd see he's messing me up over here. All right, yeah, play it right there. KT. Good morning. Are we on the brink of war? We are. Are we headed for war? We don't know. The Iranians are at war with us. They've been at war with us since the, the Iranian Revolution, and their goal is America out of the Middle East, death to Israel, kill all the Jews. So that's, they've not wavered. Now, are we on the brink of war? What I'm worried about is what you're worried about. Right now, the Biden administration is still, well, we, we, you know, we don't we want what peace them. Hey, wanna, do me a favor, take get- that down. Um, so yeah, I gotta hold my mic now. IT's over here doing wow. crazy stuff. <laughs> wow. But um, what was I about to say? They got me out, they got me out my flow. I'm about to get back in my flow. All right, so she said something very heavy about Iran has been at war with America ever since uh, Amalek moved in over there. So they've been in war with America for some time. I believe go back to the beginning because the uh, the reporter said the Iran problem. They just wanted to go away. What America wants to do is do their dirt. Okay, go bomb everybody, go take everybody's land, and not have to suffer any consequences for it. Right. That's what they want. So I want you to play it back again from the beginning. Okay, and I want you to hear closely to what they say. Watch this. I want to bring in Katie McFarland, who has long experience with our Iran problem. Good morning, Katie. Good morning. Are we on the brink of war? We are. Are we headed for war? We don't know. The Iranians are at war with us. They've been at war with us since the, the Iranian Revolution, and their goal is America out of the Middle East, death to Israel, kill all the Jews. So that's, they've not wavered. Now, are we on the brink of war? What I'm worried about is what you're worried about. Right now, 
the Biden administration is still, well, we, we, you know, we don't we want to appease them. We don't want to, we don't want to get into, drift into something. We're going to placate them. But by that attitude, in fact, they're encouraging war because Iran and Iran's proxies is a little bit more every day, a little bit more intense, frequent. And at some point, a missile is going to get through the defensive perimeter. And then you have mass casualties, American mass casualties. And then we're in a war we don't want. We don't know how to fight and we could have avoided. What happens if uh, the Iranians announce they've got nuclear capability? Everything changes because it's not just Iran. It's Saudi hey, stop. Arabia has already said it. Before. Real quick, we're going to come right back to it. They said, what happens if Iran gets nuclear capabilities? Like, uh, we don't want that. Message. Why? Because they know what 2nd Edges 15 says. Yes, they know about the Carmanians. They understand exactly what that's going to lead to. That's Rewind right. Rewind that about 10 more seconds, 10 seconds back. And go right back to it, please. But the Iranians announce they've got nuclear capability. Everything changes because it's not just Iran. It's Saudi Arabia has already said if Iran gets nukes, we get nukes. Now, Iran's making them at home. They're building their own nuclear weapons. Saudi Arabia buys them. They buy them from wow. Pakistan, from somebody else. And then Turkey will say, well, they have them. I need my nukes, too. And so then you have a nuclear arms race in the most dangerous part of the world. That is a very frightening process. It is. It is what everybody... <laughs> I, I used to teach nuclear weapons at MIT 40 years ago. And that's what everybody always worried about, was the proliferation of nuclear weapons in the hands of countries that don't... that really are happy ah, to use... Stop, stop, stop. See, I love it. She, wanted, she, she said, wait, that's the last wait, thing yeah. we want. We don't want nuclear weapons in the hands of people who don't, uh, don't necessarily need them. Cause think about it. If she says, if she says that, finishes that statement, it's gonna come back to America. Right. Because last right. time I checked, isn't America the one who dropped the atom bomb on everybody? That's right. Yeah. Sure. You understand yeah. the hypocrisy? So she had to stop herself in the midst of a sentence and audible at right. the end of that, because right. right. she realized how bad that would have made her sound. Matthew. Now she said a whole lot of stuff. She said a whole lot of stuff. Whole lot of stuff. And I need to rewind it again, cause I got to dissect all of it. So rewind it one more again, not to the very beginning. Give me about 30 seconds in, and we're going to get some scriptures now. Yes, sir. All right, watch this. Iran and Iran's proxies is a little bit more every day, a little bit more intense, frequent. And at some point, a missile is going to get through the defensive perimeter. And then you have mass casualties, American mass casualties. And then we're in a war we don't want. We don't know how to fight, and we could have avoided it. Right, and you can hear the concern in her voice. She's like, what the hell is going on? You wow. guys know this is going to be the end of us if right. we do this. Right. All right, go ahead. Give me some more. Come on. If uh, the Iranians announce they've got nuclear capability. Everything changes. Everything changes. Let's go to that. I quoted it, but let's read it. We haven't read it in a minute. Second Ezra 15. Let's start at verse 29. No, it's 28. The book of Second Ezra is chapter 15 and verse 28. Come on. Behold, an horrible vision. And the appearance thereof from the east, uh -huh. where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots. Right, shall come out with many chariots. All right, come on. And the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth, mm -hmm. that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Right, the wind upon the earth. Give me that one in uh, Second Ezra 13 and 5 real quick. When he talks about the wind, let's see what that's going into. Let's get that and come right back, please. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 13 and verse 5. Come on. And after this, I beheld, and lo, there were gathered together a multitude of men. Uh-huh, a multitude of men. Come on. Out of number. Uh-huh. From the four winds of the heaven. Come on. To subdue the men that came out of the sea. Mm-hmm. But I beheld. Right. What is this talking about? This is talking about combat. This is talking about militaries, all right? So let's go back to verse 29 in 2nd Ezra. Come on. Verse 29. Where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots. Right. Many chariots is talking about their military weapons. All right. Come on. And the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon earth. Upon the wind upon earth. Come on. That all they which hear them may fear and tremble. And you can see the 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 the. The, the fear in her voice. You can hear the fear in her right, voice right, right. and the concern in her face yes, when he asked that question. What's going to happen if Iran gets nuclear capabilities or missiles? It's like, uh, man, that's going to be something that we don't want right there. Right. Okay, watch this. Verse 30. Mm -hmm. Also the Carmanians raging in wrath shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. Right. So the Carmanians, according to scripture, and uh, and actual ge 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 what's it called geographical geographical geographical, geographical. Uh, text. Yes, Carmania yes. is present day 
Iran. Right. Okay. Pull that up for the people so they can see it. Get a get a map of Carmania real quick. Okay. So Carmania is present day Iran. So read that verse again. Verse 30. Come on. Also, the Carmanians, raging in wrath, mm -hmm. shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. Uh huh. And with great power. And with great power. What is the great power? It's the nuclear capabilities. That's right. That's what that great power is. Come on. Shall they come and join battle with them? And join battle with who? The rest of the Arab nations. Now, pause that scripture and go back to the uh, to the video. Watch this, y'all. Bring it out. Go back. To, thank you. You know, IT, I'm sorry, I got worried. Just Iran. It's Saudi Arabia has already said, if Iran gets nukes, we get nukes. Now, Iran's m making them at home. They're building their own nuclear weapons. Saudi Arabia buys them. Buy so them. Saudi Arabia, that's one of the dragons of Arabia. That's okay, right. Okay, come on. Wow. From somebody else. Then Turkey will say, well, they have them. I need my nukes, too. And so then you have a nuclear arms race in the most dangerous part of the world. That is a very frightening prospect. It is. It is what everybody. She in the, said I, I she say in the most dangerous part of the world because she said she know they're going to use. Them. Right. right. That's why she right. say that. Yes, sir. Yeah, something before I continue. Okay, yeah, sir. real quick. On the, uh, go to Joel three. All right. Don't get yep. that real quick. Uh, to back that up. All right. On war. All right. War is coming. Right. All right. War is coming. Bring it out. Tommy, but we're going to have to go through some things on the but the Lord is on the gathering the nations and they it's putting that spirit out in the earth on the on the three and two real quick the book of joel chapter three and verse two read i will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of jehoshaphat so that's the uh so that's the so-called middle east read and will plead with them there for my people uh -huh. and for my heritage israel whom they have scattered among the nations read and parted my land so on the jump down to nine Verse 9, uh -huh. proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. So proclaim this among all the nations, read. Prepare mm -hmm. war. Uh, do what? Prepare war. Prepare war. Wake on up. War is here on the wake up, read. Yes, right. Wake up the mighty men. Uh-huh. Let all the men of war draw near. Read. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into short swords. And the swords, read. And your pruning hooks into spears. Uh-huh. Let the weak say, I am strong. All right, jump down to 12. Verse 12, let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Uh -huh. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So, so to sum it up on the war is upon us. Tommy, so don't be surprised if um, so the Carmanians on the, uh, on the get those on the nuclear weapons right. and actually use them. Right. Hey, watch this, uh, Isaiah 13 and 11. We're gonna do some jumping. All right, watch this, because uh, what the officer was going into was leading up into Armageddon, right? That's uh, when the Northern armies would leave us alone here yes, in, in uh, America during Jacob's trouble and go join themselves to the battle. Right. All right, but we're leading up to the battle. All right, right. we're at the beginning stages of it right now. Because yes, remember, they said the Iran problem. Mm -hmm. What America puts off is that the world is at peace. No, 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 no. The world is not at peace. Uh, right. It's no. just the media that America shows to you is one-sided. Right, right. right. That's what the issue is. All right, watch this, uh, verse 11. Book of Isaiah, chapter 13 and verse 11. Come on. And I will punish the world for their evil. Right. God said he's going to punish the world for their evil. And you can read about that uh, in 2 Ezra, chapter 15, verse 20. Watch this. Watch this. I'll show you something. 2 Ezra, chapter 15, verse 20. The book of 2 Ezra, chapter 15 and verse 20. Right. This is uh, also going into what? The plagues that we went over in the weather report as well, judging the earth uh, according to their evil. But read this. Behold, saith God. I will call together all the kings of the earth come on. to reverence me. Right, this is going into all the different nations on the face, face of the earth, all the different kingdoms, come on. Which are from the rising of the sun. Uh-huh, Which the is the, that's on the east, come on. From the south. Uh-huh, Arabia, come on. From the east. Uh-huh. And Libanus. Come on. To turn themselves one against another. And do what? And repay the things that they have done to them. To them, the them is the Israelites. Right. So the Most High, he's stirring up their spirits to pay them back for what they've done to us. Right. Now go back to Isaiah 13 and 11. Let's read this again. Watch this. The book of Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 11. Come on. I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked of their iniquity. And the wicked of their iniquity. And the iniquity of the wicked, that's talking about Esau. Yes, sir. They are the wicked according to the scriptures. Right. Right. All right, read on. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. Come on. And will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Jump down to verse 13. Verse 13. 
Therefore, I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall be removed out of her place. Come on. In the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. Uh huh. And it shall be as the chase roll, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. Read. They shall every man turn to his own people. Right. Every man is going to turn to his own people, just like we read in 2nd Ezra 15 and 20. Right. All right. Now, here's the point I wanted to touch. Read verse 17. Watch this. Verse 17. Come on. Behold, I will stir up the Medes. He will stir up who? The Medes. The Medes right here. This is going into Iran. That's right. Okay. This is going into Iran. Give me Jeremiah 51 and verse 11. Watch this. Jeremiah 51 and verse 11. Then we coming right back, soldier. Watch this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 51 and verse 11. Come on. Make bright the arrows. Gather the shields. The Lord have raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. Mm -hmm. For his device is against Babylon. For his device is against who? Babylon. Remember it said the Iran problem? What are we reading? The Bible. The Iran problem comes from the Holy Scriptures That's because the Bible. Most High is putting the spirit on Iran to come against the United States of America. Right. See this? Okay, read that verse again. Watch this, y'all. Verse 11. Make bright the arrow. Do what? Make bright the arrow. Make bright the arrow. What is this talking about? The nuclear missiles. Come on. Gather the shields. Mm -hmm. The Lord hath raised up the spirit of the king of the Medes. Uh-huh. For his device is against Babylon. For his device is against who? Against Babylon. So understand this. Uh, ancient uh, Persia is present-day Iran. Okay? Did y'all ever get that map about Carmania wow. as well? It's not clear? Bro. All right. I know I found one some time ago. If I can find one, I'll send it to you. Uh, now let's go back to, uh, what is that, Isaiah 13, 17? Yes, sir. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 17. Come on. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, uh -huh. which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Meaning what? There's nothing that you can do. There's no money. There's no land, there's no treaty, there's nothing that you can give uh, no. to these Ishmaelites, to, no. the, to these Iranians, that is going to stop them from fulfilling the will of God. That's right. what that Bible's saying right there. That's what it's saying. Read no. the verse one more time. Behold, I will stir up the means Come on. against them, which shall not regard silver. Mm -hmm. As for gold, they shall not delight in it. Come on. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces. To pieces. Their bows is going into those nuclear bombs. Now. That's right. Do me a favor, there should be an article about how many nations currently have uh, nuclear capability. Y'all got that one? Yep. All right, read this for us, please. Map. All 17,000 of the world's nukes. The US, Russia, UK, France, China, India, Pakistan, Israel, and North Korea possess approximately 17,000 nuclear weapons. Wow. Right, so as you can see, it's only wow. nine uh, nations on the face of the earth right now that have nuclear capability. Right. Now, according to the scripture, Damn. it's going to be much more than that. Okay. On, on that on that article, on that article, if you could scroll down, please. Uh, is there a graphic of like a map or something like that on this one? Yes. So keep this up. All right. So it says on this particular uh, article, you got the U.S., Russia, uh, Israel. All the, yeah, all of these places. This these are where. The Earth's nuclear weapons are held. So it's only nine wow. nations. Only wow. nine nations. Now Man. give me um Jeremiah 49. Watch this. Okay. Give me Jeremiah chapter 49. And I want verse 7. Watch this. The book of Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 7. Concerning Edom. Right, right, right. So it says concerning Edom, the nation of Edom. Come on. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Uh-huh. Is wisdom no more in Teman? Right, it says is wisdom no more in Teman? Come on. Is counsel perished from the prudent? Mm-hmm. Is their wisdom vanished? Is their wisdom vanished? Read. Flee, turn back. Dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dedan. Uh-huh. For I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him. Come on. The time that I will visit him. So the Lord is saying, hey, what are you gonna do? with your wisdom. Is your wisdom going to save you from the destruction to come? Nope. No. Uh, and what no, is their wisdom? Remember, never. they're the ones who built the first atomic bomb. Right. Okay. It was yep. Oppenheimer. That's okay. Right. Yep. And he was a German. His father was a German. Right. All right. The wise, the wise men of Teman. All right. So it's asking the question, what are you going to do when your destruction comes? All right. Give me the book of Isaiah 54 and 16 about the waster real quick. I want to make a quick point. I'm going to make a quick point. Watch this, y'all. The book of Isaiah, chapter 54 and verse 16. Because it talked about 
an arms race that they did not want to happen. Okay? So the Mosai is stirring everything up. He's stirring everything up for Armageddon, right? Right. And then we also know what's going to happen next. We're going to get to that later on in this um, in this war report. Right. So read that for us. Behold, I have created the smith. Watch that, this. That blow of the coals that, and the fire. That blow of the coals and the fire. Come on. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. Uh-huh. And I have created the waster. The what? The waster. The waster. Come on. To destroy. The waster to do what? Destroy. To destroy. Give me the one in Job 20 and 24 real quick. Same thing. Same exact thing. Job chapter 20 and verse 24. Watch this. <laughs> Book of Job, chapter 20 and verse 24. Come on. He shall flee from the iron weapon. From the what? The iron weapon. The iron weapon. The iron weapon, the waster, they're the same exact thing. Come on. And the bow of steel. And the bow of steel, talking about this nuclear missile. Come on. Shall strike him through. Shall strike him through. So, uh, oh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 11 and 16. Bring it's one up. of my favorite scriptures as of late. So what you're realizing is the same way America bullied the earth, right? Mm -hmm. The same way they dropped the atomic bomb, it's going to come a day where that same technology, that same wisdom from T-Mon is going to be used against them right. to bring them to their, to their final destruction. That's right. Give me that oh, verse. Priest. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 11 and verse 16. And then she's very scared. They are very scared of this thing, but there's nothing they can do. That's, That's what right. they can do. That's read right. what you got. That they might know. That they might know. Read. That wherewithal a man sinneth. The way that you sin, come mm -hmm. on. By the same also shall he be punished. You Woo! see that? The same way you sin, <laughs> dropping bombs on everybody, mm -hmm. that's exactly how you're going to be punished, Esau. <laughs> Let's get a most high round for that thing. Bring it that's up. some good stuff. That's, that's right. Stuff. That's good. Oh, that's right. crazy. That's, that's right. good right there. Oh, oh praise the <laughs> Father. Hey, uh, give me the next article about uh, Arabs, Arab nations joining up. Watch this. Iran and Pakistan rebuilding diplomatic ties following tit for tat strike. Let's read some of this. Islamabad and Tehran detent. Uh oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. Say something. <laughs> Is Ooh. Islamabad <laughs> and Tehran detent should keep, should help soon. Somebody help. <laughs> Get, get it together, Rita. Get it together. You got to take a breath. Take a breath. You be Come ahead. on now, dog. Islamabad and Tehran, the 10, should help soothe some concerns of regional escalation from the war in Gaza. All right, come on. Iran and Pakistan have announced that they will resume diplomatic relations after recently swapping airstrikes. The two Islamic republics will return recalled ambassadors on January 26th. They said in a joint statement issued on Monday with Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Arman Badolian to visit his counterpart three days later. The announcement signals efforts to rebuild ties following the tit-for-tat missile attacks on one another's borders, regions last week that saw relations, none nosedive, and tensions spike. Right, wow. so as you can see, that's the spirit of the Lord. That's the spirit of the Lord making them calm down, right. come together, uh, as brothers again. That's right. Because they are brothers. That's right. Did y'all have anything before we continue? Yes, I, uh, I'm going to show um, in the scripture that um, we gonna have, we gonna, that's when we're going to get our praise when it's wicked man, that's Esau, going to be down. Give me Psalm 104 and um, 35 because that's when we're going to get our draw because now they put they put lies out. They try to slander um, Israel. They, they put about in everybody business right. except they own. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 104 and verse 35. Uh-huh. Let the sinners be consumed out of the earth. He said, let the sinners be consumed out of the earth. Read. And let the wicked be no more. You already know who the wicked is. Let them be no more. Read. Right. Bless thou the Lord. He said, bless thou the Lord. Read. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. Read. Praise ye the Praise Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This wicked man going to be consumed with the nuclear warfare. That's right. That's all right. All praise to the right. Father. You all, all right. Go ahead, officer. Uh, yes. you know, that's Cap, right. uh, will you finish with Isaiah 13, Cap? No, no, go ahead. Do you uh, Isaiah 13, verse uh, 2 and 3. Could bring it out what's going on. Like, how what? Yes, the you know Iranian, you know, they're, they're going back and forth. But eventually, you know, the Bible says they're going to unite. So what? The Most High letting us know, okay, it's getting ready. Get yourself right. Manage. Because when that day comes, when they come together, it's all going to start popping off. But what we have to keep doing? Read this right here. The book of Isaiah, chapter 13, and verse 2. Uh-huh. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Lift up the words of God against what? Against Babylon, against America. Come on. Exalt the voice.
voice unto them. Read. Shake the hand. Shake the hand. That they may go into the gates of the noble. So what? We keep pushing this Bible. Keep pushing this truth. Come on. I have commanded my sanctified ones. That's us, Read. I have also called my mighty ones he's for gonna, mine anger. And what? He's going to move the angels. Like Bishop Yahweh would say, these other nations, they're going to press the button. They, they may not want to press the button for the new, but they're going to press the button. Come on. Even them that rejoice in my highness. And that's what's going to happen. We keep teaching this Bible, and what? People keep repenting. Uh, this end is going to come. They ain't going to have some right. choice. That's they ain't going to have no choice right. because it's either... They, they lose. <laughs> right. They lose. Right. Oh, you know, it is what it is. As we rise up, they're like, damn, man, what the hell? Like, give me the one in Corinthians when it says it's a, 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 a savor of death and life. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Bring it on. Give me that one real quick. Because at, at the end of the day, there is no winning for them. So that's right. why, as Israelites, we got to be humble. We got to be patient saints, like the scripture says, and we got to wait that's upon the Lord. That's right. Okay. What you got uh, first? 2 Se Corinthians okay. 2 and si uh, 16. Thank yep. you. Read that for me, please. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 16. Come on. To the one, we are the Savior of death. It's not Savior. It's Savor. Do you see an I? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Read it right. Yes, Read sir. it again, please. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 16. Come on. To the one, we are the Savor of death right. unto to death. The, they say, to the one, we are the Savor of death unto death. Who is that? That's your friendly neighborhood white man. Give me the one in Wisdom of Solomon. I think it's 8 and 14 to go with this. All right, to the one. Which man is that? That's talking about our enemy, the wicked on the yes. earth. That's right. All right, because when he see us rise up, what does he see? He sees the end of his kingdom. That's he's right, going to die, and, and know, then right. he's going to die again. Right. Mm. That's what he understands immediately. Yeah. That's right. For what he's done to the children of Israel. Read that for us. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 14. I shall set the people in order. Right. The Most High, he's setting us in order. When you see us march in D.C., when you see us march in Memphis or Bring wherever we at, That's right. that is the word of God coming to life. That's, That's right. right. Read. And the nation shall be subject unto me. And the nation shall be what? Subject unto me. That means the nation's going into slavery. That's when they right. see that, Bring they know up. that their reign is over. Yeah. Come on. Horrible tyrants shall be afraid. Horrible tyrants. Who is that? Your friendly neighborhood white, white man, man. That's right. who has dominion That's over right. this world, and they're doing what? They are oppressing us with much Every, oppression, which is much right. harsh oppression, Every like it's saying in uh, Second Ezra 11. Come on. When they do but hear of me. When they do but hear of the Lord. How are they hearing of the Lord? When we out in the streets teaching the words of God. That's right. That's is that right. it on that? That's no, right. Come on. I shall be found good among the multitude and valiant in war. Uh-huh. That's it, sir. That's it on that. So go back to that in Corinthians. Watch this, yo. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 2 and verse 16. Go ahead. To the one, we are the savior of death. It says, to the one, which is Esau, we are the smell of death. Death. Ooh. Unto death. Come on. Unto death. Uh huh. Unto the other, the savor of life unto life. You see that? So when our people see us, when they see us stand up right. as the Israelites on this earth, mm -hmm. they feel life. And that's what's a lot that's what a lot of people is gonna feel when they watch the book of Clarence. That's right. Because right. right. they're gonna right. see right. that imagery and they're gonna see, you know what? Damn, Rome tried to come against us and we we actually Stop hating right. each other right. and started joining with each other to fight against our known it enemy. Up. That's right. Impressive. It's a beautiful thing right it's there. You got some officer? That's right. Yes, sir. Let me get uh, uh Romans 13. Romans 13 real quick. Because all of this stuff is coming out. It's easy to see. If you haven't known by now or what? Seeing the writings on the wall, it uh -oh. is high time. Oh, oh. Right. Right. <laughs> oh. Romans 13 That's and 11. The book right. of Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. Uh -huh. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time. What? It is high time. It's high time. You see all of these wars. What? You even see the U.S. now. Although that Edomite said what? They asked her about war. She said, well, yeah, we're on the brink of war. Then he said, well, are we going to be at war? She said, well, I don't know. Because she don't want to stay the obvious. She don't want that smoke, want that smoke exactly. bro. Exactly. Hey. Hey. To awake out of sleep. Uh-huh. For now our salvation nearer than when we believe if you didn't know your salvation is oh, excuse oh. me is nearer than what we believe read the night is far spent uh -huh. the day is at hand let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light that's why we bringing out this bible it's time to gird yourself up repent that's because right. the time is now that's right oh that's right. praise hey let's go to the next video the israel hamas one
Let's go to the next video, please. Israel Hamas war escalating into US. Missile targeted at Yemen, Iraq, Hezbollah. The U.S. forces have struck a number of targets in both Iraq and in Yemen. This on the heels of uh, the Israeli government striking targets in southern Lebanon, targeting Hezbollah forces. This amid a number of escalations in the Middle East and following one of the deadliest days for Israeli soldiers since the fight began on October 7th. Want to turn now to Trey Yankst over in Tel Aviv this morning with the latest on all happening there. Good morning, Trey. Uh, hope all is well there. Wanted to get into uh, that, that latest news out of those strikes between Ye uh, the U.S. forces in Yemen and in Iraq. Uh, what do we know about those? Yeah, absolutely. Good morning. It was a busy night across the Middle East, first starting in Yemen, where for the ninth time in two weeks, American forces struck Iran-backed Houthi positions. We are learning more from U.S. Central Command about the targets. The United States trying to hit anti-ship missiles that, according to CENTCOM, were prepared to launch. The Americans looking to send a message to these rebels in Yemen that if they continue attacks near to U.S. Navy vessels, and also commercial shipping lanes in the Red Sea, that there will be a heavy price to pay. Further north, earlier in the evening, the United States launched separate strikes against the Iran-backed Iraqi Shia militia Qatayb Hezbollah, targeting positions south of Baghdad and also in western Iraq. Wow. This was in direct response to an attack over the weekend against the Al-Assad air base in western Iraq that houses American troops. That attack that included ballistic missiles and rockets left four American service members with traumatic brain injuries. And so a lot of escalation across the region, American forces directly involved with pushing back against the activity. Hey, pause that. So what America's not telling you is America is at war. Right, <laughs> right. That's, that's what they don't want to tell you. They've been at, they've been at war the whole time, that's but crazy. they call it peace. Right. They call it world peace. No, no, no. What they the out, they got to put out that fire because if they know, if they stop dropping b them, it's over. Right. It's over. Oh. But it's going to come to a point where they're going to be overcame. And we're going to get to that uh, later on. Let's keep it rolling for the sake of time. Watch no. this. What's next? The U.S. is now fighting a regional war. Wait, wait, wait. Read it again. The U.S. is now fighting a regional war but it's wait, been like that wait, now it's just they're getting more Ishmael's getting more emboldened That's remember right. all these military uh mi mi excuse me um military militias they why why did they start right because of what american israel's been doing to them right. That's right. for all of these years Bring so they're sticking up for themselves so now they slip up and say this in the article because remember what the lady said are we at war uh, nah, uh nope. nah, no 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 Read the article again. Watch this. Bring it up. <laughs> the U.S. is now fighting a regional war in the Middle East, even if the Biden administration won't admit They it. don't want to admit it. That's right. She didn't want to admit it on TV. Right. So wow. give me that one in Psalm 64. Bring it up. Bro, Esau ain't even got no loyalty to themselves. <laughs> you see that thing right there? Is it verse 8? You know what I want. 6 or 8. Damn. I always get it confused. Give me that, please. Yes, sir. The book of Psalms. Chapter 64 and verse 8. Come on. They also that dwell in the uttermost parts are afraid at the tokens. What? Come on, man. Psalm 64 and 8. The book of Psalms, chapter 64 and verse 8. So they shall make their own tongues to fall upon themselves. You see that? They should make their own tongues to fall upon themselves. Mm. That's right. They can't even control their media right. And right. You know, Amal Amalek caught, caught slipping like they were slipping in them damn tunnels. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> slipping slide. Hey. <laughs> Crazy. Go back to that article, please. Watch this, y'all. The U.S. is now fighting a regional war in the Middle East, even if the Biden administration won't admit it. Mm -hmm. The U.S. is carrying out airstrikes in three countries across the Middle East. It has sent billions of dollars in military hardware and is providing tactical support for its closest ally in the region, which is involved in a war against one militant group and almost daily skirmishes with another on its northern border. U.S. forces in two of these countries have been attacked more than 150 times. Most I put uh, pressure on them. That's right. All praise to the Father for that thing. That's good that's stuff. Right. Go ahead. In the last three months. And the de facto ruling power 
in an impoverished country in the Red Sea has brought international shipping there to a grinding halt. All right, all right. Do me a favor. Go to the uh, warning from Iran. All right, watch this. Go to the next uh, article. Can we read the title? Middle, Middle East update. Iran's ominous warning over alleged Israeli strike. Come on. Tehran has said the killing of its military advisor is an alleged Israeli missile strike in Syria will not go unpunished as tensions rise due to the war in Gaza and attacks by Iran and its proxies in the region. Syrian authorities said the Meza neighborhood of Damascus, the location of foreign embassies, including Iran's, was targeted on Saturday morning by an Israeli-launched air attack from the Golan Heights. Mm -hmm. The dead included Hajotola and Madar, whose Iran semi-official student news network described as a deputy chief of the Quds Force Intelligence Unit in Syria. It is one of Tehran's five branches of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, or IRGC. Right. Unit. So they're saying, hey, they're taking names. Right. All right. Uh, they they're not remember they're not for gonna forget any of this stuff. Just uh, like it said yeah. Isaiah 13 and 17. It's gonna be so much bloodshed, so mm. many different offenses wow. that there's no amount of money that can change their heart from what they're going to do. That's right. right. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. Yeah, that's a good thing. Oh, crazy. Let's keep it rolling. <laughs> hey, we got a lot. I'm sorry, the war report's my favorite now. We got a Bro. lot. Read this, please. Biden's speech interrupted by pro-Palestinian protesters. Right. Hey, give me the one in Jeremiah 51 to talk about the uh, the caterpillars. Give me that real quick. Was it verse 10, 9 and 10, something like that? 13, 14. All right, give me that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 51 and verse 14. Come on. The Lord of hosts have sworn by himself, mm -hmm. saying, Surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars. Fill thee with men as with caterpillars. Let's, let's go to that article, please. Or oh, that video, excuse me. Biden's speech. Read that. How Israel has repeatedly rejected Hamas truth off. Truth no, off. no, no, no. Come on. Talking about the uh, video, yeah. Yeah, come on, man. That's it right there. Could you read? Can you scroll down, please, so we can read the. No, bro. Come on, man. See the moment U.S. President Joe Biden was interrupted by protesters. Where's the video? It's not there no more. Dang. Hey, hey find it. Find it for me. Uh, I see somebody say something while they try to find it. Come on now, dog. Yeah, this. This is. Oh, there they go. Oh, there they go right there. Okay. All right. Play that for us, please. Bring it on. The reason there are 21 states where abortion bans are in effect. May. No exception for rape or any other or incest is Donald Trump. This is going to go on for a while. They got this plan. Wow! You see that, right? right. They're rising up. That's yeah. right. Go ahead. How Israel has repeatedly rejected Hamas truce offers. Right. So just like they just said, you know, had the sign saying genocide, mm -hmm. South Africa's calling them out for the genocide. The nations right. are waking up and say, hey, that's a genocide. Right? right. But America just continues to go with it. Uh, and then you got Netanyahu. When, uh, you know, Palestine, they're trying to offer peace treaties with Hamas so they could stop the killing, the one sided killing, so they could still have the joint state. They said, no, they're not going to accept it. Let's read some of that, please. On Sunday, Netanyahu turned down a Hamas offer to end the war. It only, it's only the latest in a long history of Hamas proposals for long-term truces that Israel has rejected. Come on. Ramallah, occupied West Bank. Israel and its Western allies have long dismissed the Gaza-based Palestinian armed groups and political movement, Hamas, as illegitimate and have refused to engage with it labeling it as a terrorist organization. Mm -hmm. This narrative has become ever more apparent since October 7th, when Hamas launched an attack just outside the besieged Gaza Strip on Israeli territory, killing some 1,140 people, Israeli officials said. Come on. Israel launched a brutal military campaign on the Gaza Strip as Prime Minister Benj Benjamin Netanyahu, who has equated Hamas with IS, IS, ISIL, ISIS, and Nazis, Pledging to eradicate the Palestinian group in the wake of the October 7th attack. So they, they, that's what, they know it's a genocide. Right. Right. Eradicate, genocide, that's the same thing, right? Oh, same, thing. <laughs> same thing. Now give me the next video. Watch this. Give me the next one. 
Or is it an article? Bring it on. This video? Okay, yeah, watch this, watch this. Read that. News wrap. Netanyahu tells U.S. he opposes Palestinian statehood after Gaza war. In the day's other headlines, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu dismissed any talk of Palestinian statehood after the Gaza war ends. That laid bare a deep division with U.S. policy, but the Prime Minister said he's made his stance clear to Washington. So in layman's terms, he say that might cause friction with the U.S. No, it's not. Because the U.S., remember, give me that in uh, Romans, not Romans, Revelations 13 and 11. Okay? Give me that Revelations 13 and 11. Remember, remember politics, Democrats, Republicans, the President of the United States. You understand his office and all of that stuff. All of that's a charade. Right. That's to keep the people asleep. Right. Israel and America are like this. That's right. They may put that propaganda out there to make Bring it look it like they're not on one accord. That's not the case. Right. Read what you got. Bring Book it. of Revelations, chapter 13, and verse 11. Come on. And I beheld another beast Another coming beast. Up. This beast is the United States of America. Go ahead. Coming up out of the earth. Uh-huh. And he had two horns. He had two horns, which is the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. Read. Like a lamb. Like a lamb that says, we don't agree with what Israel's doing. We don't agree with the genocide that they're doing over there, okay? That's the lamb, read. Right? Wow. And he spake as a dragon. But deep down inside, yes, they, they're fulfilling the mission. Like that's it says right. in Daniel 11. Okay, that's what they're doing. Uh, now go to Ezekiel 35 and 10, okay? Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 10. Watch this. The book of Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 10. Come on. Because thou hast said these two nations. These two nations. Who are those two nations? That is uh, us. That's J Judah and right. Israel. Come right. on. And these two countries. And these two countries. The countries is America and Israel. Israel. That's but right. The the real people ain't in the land today. Right. 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 You know we can't say we can't say that because it's blasphemy. Right. Okay? Come on. Shall be mine. Shall be mine. Meaning, they want to be the Israelites. Mm -hmm. They want to be. Uh, they want to have the land of Israel, and they took the land of America from the Israelites as right. well. That's right. So I want you to read that verse one more time. Yes, sir. Because thou hast said, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine. Come on. And we will possess it. It said they should do what? We will possess it. Right. And they did that together. So as much as they want to put in the news like they don't agree, brothers and sisters, that's far from the truth. Right. Give me that in Ezekiel 7. Okay. Uh, give me 21 and 22. All right, Ezekiel chapter 7, 21 and 22. Watch the show. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 7 and verse 21. Come on. And I will give it unto the hands of the strangers. Right, the it is the land of Israel. All right, so the most I said he'll give it unto the hands of the strangers. We just read that in Ezekiel 35 and 10. Come on. For a prey. For a prey, meaning what? All of their little uh, relatives can come in and inhabit the land. Come on. And to the wicked of the earth. For a spoil. So who's the wicked of the earth? Your friendly neighborhood white man. Read them. I do me Read. And they shall pollute it. And they shall pollute the holy land. But watch this, wow. verse 22. My face will I turn also from them. Come on. And they shall pollute my secret place. Watch this. For the robbers. For the what? Robbers. So that is both Israel and America. They both had a part Bring it up. with taking over. Israel and America. That's right. Understand that thing, read. Shall enter into it. And defile. And defile it. So let's go back to that video, please. Let's go back. Watch this, y'all. It's going to be a long one today. In any future arrangement, Israel needs security control over all territory west of the Jordan. I tell this truth to our American friends. The prime minister needs to be capable of saying no to our friends, saying no when necessary, and Stop. saying So when he says his friends, he's talking about United States of America. Right. Okay. Right. All right. So um, and they do this. They come together and plan this stuff right. and go to the public and make it look like it's just Israel and America doesn't agree for political <laughs> reasons. All right. That's not the case, y'all. We just showed you in the scriptures that's not the case. Stop the cap. All right. Play on. Yes, when possible. In response, the State Department underscored the Hey, US just pause that right there. Read, read Ezekiel 35 and 10 again. And, the, and keep this up. Right. The Bible is a true book. That's, That's right. right. Read it out. That. That's right. Read that. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 10. Come on. Because thou hast said, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine. The two countries is Israel and America. America. That's right. Would you look? No bombs. Right. We get no bombs, no bombs. off of that.
Mm. They don't even see that that's prophecy right there on our TV screens right, right. now. Oh, crazy. Y'all got to be able to see this thing. That's right. Play on, play on. Stance that post-war planning must include a state for Palestinians. There is no way to solve their long-term challenges to provide lasting security, and there is no way to, to solve the short-term challenges of rebuilding Gaza and establishing governance in Gaza and providing security for Gaza without the establishment of a Palestinian state. Netanyahu also insisted again today that the fight... So that's America trying to play... It's, it's you know, like good cop, bad cop. Right, right, but right. they're both with the wow. same agenda. You had some officer? Right. You look like you had something. Oh, no, oh, no. Sir. <laughs> Cal, I just wanted to... Uh, what they were saying about... It seems like, like, like you were bringing out of them trying to uh, portray that they're divided. America is the one who's providing the weapons there for Israel. Go. There you right. go. So... <laughs> Hey, does Malachi have anything to say? He's he's not saying anything on the show. Uh oh. Well, yeah. Spotlight. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, most definitely. Um, what they try to do is put their hands in everything, and then like like you throw the rock and you hide your hand. There you go. You know, that's what they very known for. Um, creating a problem and then giving you the solution to the same problem that they created. You that's all right. right. That's you right. All Didn't right. they refer to themselves as Big Satan and Little Satan? Right. Well, that's what that's what wow. Ishmael calls them. Oh, that was Ishmael. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's, yeah. yeah the same. One mm -hmm. of the same. Israel is Little Satan. <gasps> America is Great Satan. Great Satan. Yup, and yes, they both the devil. All that's right. right. Let's keep it rolling. Let's and keep you know it rolling. That's right. What else we got, IT? NATO mobilizing for biggest military exercise since Cold War. Mm -hmm. All right, let's read some of this. Wow! NATO is gearing up for its largest military drills since the end of the Cold War, with 90,000 troops expected to take part in the Western Security Alliance's exercise across Europe next week. Hey, brothers and sisters, if, if you didn't know, the world is is the war is out on the brink. That's right. right. The That's world right. is at war. That's right. The 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 Edomite lady, the first article, she's like, wow. yeah, Iran's been at war with us. We going to war? Like, oh, I don't know, but they're at war right now in the Middle East. Right. You got Israel against uh, the Gaza. You got kingdom against kingdom. You got civil war breaking out in different countries in Africa. The world is at war right now. That's right. That's right. Obviously. There's something else big coming that a lot of people don't know. That's right. But we know. Right. We know what the Bible say. Right. They preparing for Armageddon. That's right. right. Because it's coming. Armageddon is coming. Hey, there's a video after this. Let's play that video. Watch this, y'all. NATO warns of an all-out war with Russia in the next 20 years. Hey, did I give you the timestamps? Okay. Good. It's not a given that we are in peace. Uh huh. Right, right. It's because right. the world is not at peace. Right. Right. It's not. <laughs> Esau is telling the truth. He's like, hey, y'all may think it's peace. Y'all may think everything's good. Peachy. Right. No, no, it's not. Uh, All right, play no. that, please. Take off of Exercise Steadfast Defender 2024, which commences next week and runs through May. Steadfast Defender 24 will be the largest NATO exercise in decades with participation from approximately 90,000 forces from all 31 allies, plus our good partner, Sweden. The alliance will demonstrate its ability to reinforce the Euro-Atlantic area via transatlantic movement of forces from North America. This reinforcement will occur during a simulated emerging conflict scenario against a near peer adversary. Steadfast Defender 24, will be a clear demonstration of our unity, our strength, and our determination to protect each other, to protect, of course, our values and the rules-based international order. Hey, before we continue on this video, do me a favor, pull up the uh, the 10 heads, no, 10 horns, excuse me, not heads, 10 horns. You have the image, pull it up for us. All right, uh, read that off for us. The 10 horns, common markets. Greece, France, Luxembourg, United Kingdom, Ireland. Belgium, Italy, Netherlands, Germany, Denmark. Right, right, right. So you see right here, uh, these are the 10 horns. So the EU, which is the uh, financial side, and you have NATO, which is the military alliance of the European Union, Message. right? It shows that it started off with 10 countries, right? Right. So notice he mentioned their partner, Sweden, right? Notice he mentioned their partner, wow. Sweden. And over time, throughout the years, it's grown from 10 to 31 members. Um, pull up that uh, website. Uh, nope. 
the is a website that shows NATO. NATO website. You got it? Okay, pull it up for us. No. Nope. It's not it. You don't you don't see it? Okay, you got it. All right, all prayers. All right, so it says read that. What is NATO? It says what is NATO? Scroll down. Uh uh zoom in for us, please. It says NATO members 31. All right. So, as you can see, over time, like the 1949s, those are those are the original ones, okay? But over time, you see all of these different uh European countries add themselves to NATO. Damn. All right, because sometimes when you read in the scriptures, you think, how could just 10 nations take down America? All right. You understand? So Message. What you see in the earth today, and we're going to get to it later on, you see the BRICS alliance forming, okay? Right. That by that BRICS alliance growing, you're going to need more people to join uh, NATO. Right. Wow. All right, so something obviously is going to take place. Well, all of these, it could be, I don't know how many members NATO is going to get up to. Right. Bring it out. But right. I do want to show you that it's at 31 right now, and Sweden, in our next article, is trying to get in make it 32. Right. Okay? So you really don't know exactly how this thing is going to pan out, but we do now. Right. All of them going to end up turning on the whole. Uh, give me that in Revelation 17 real quick. Just give me that prophecy real up. quick. 16. The book of Revelations, chapter 17 and verse 16. Come on. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. Right. They're going to end up hating the whore. They're going to end up hating the whore. Come on. And shall make her desolate and naked. And, and they're going to make her desolate and naked. So those ten horns obviously is a representation right. of NATO today. Because remember, when it was originally established, it was the ten common markets. But now it's grown from thir uh, from ten to thirty-one, and they're about to do thirty-two. Right. Okay. So do me a favor. Go back to that video that we were just at. There was another part in the timestamp. Watch this. Um, people find it a surprise and as a result buy a radio on batteries that is great <laughs> it is part of, of of the package that the the swedish government is is talking about you need to have water you need to have uh, a, a, a radio on batteries and you need to have a, a a flashlight on on batteries to make sure that you can survive the first 36 hours wow. things like that that's simple things but it starts there the the realization that not everything is planable not everything is going to be honky dory in the next 20 years. Stop. So Esau, they know. And it's crazy. Right. They, they give me that uh, Revelation 12 and 12. Wow. Right? Esau, no. Bro, it's about to go down. That's right. So everything ain't going to be peace. Everything ain't going to be good within these next 20 years. All right? Because what do we see? We see Israel on the rise. Bro, the book of Clarence just came out. Right. <laughs> Bro. Bro, that imagery right there. That's right. That's going to do nothing but uh, accelerate the waking up of God's people. That's right. right. Okay. And you know that's right. And that's that, uh, what's that one in Job 5? His craftiness. Give me that and then give me the other one. Was that 12, 5 and 12? Give me that in Job 5 and 12 real quick, talking about Book of Clarence, because we about to get into it. Read that. The book of Job, chapter 5 and verse 12. Come on. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. Right, the devices of the crafty, one of them was Hollywood. Right. You understand? The who who owns Hollywood? Amalek. Right. So how in the hell did they allow something like to, that like that to be displayed? Because they don't have any true power. That's mm, right. It up. It's right. our God who controls the heavens and the earth. That's right. Now give me that other script I called. The book of Revelations, chapter 12 and verse 12. Come on. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Right. We the ones who, I'm sorry. No. Rejoice, ye heavens, and the ones who dwell in them. Read on. I'm sorry. I jumped the gun. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Right. It says woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. This woe that's talking about destruction, Jacob's trouble. Why? Because he said within the next 20 years. He knows it's about to go down. Right. So it's saying woe to us. Why? Because Jacob's trouble is going to increase. That's, right. That's why I say that. Right. Okay, come on. And of the sea. And of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you. Right. The devil has come down in the form of a white man. Right. He's really red because, ain't you know, this piece of paper is really white. Right. <laughs> All right, come on. Having great wrath. He's going to have great wrath. Why? 
Why? Read on. Because he know if that he have but a short time. Right. He know he got a short time. That's why they preparing 90,000 troops, which has never been done yeah. before, right. for some exercises. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> That's right. right. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh. Did we finish? Oh, no. Go back to the video. We ain't finished the video. Come on. Watch this, y'all. Bring it on. I'm not saying it is going wrong tomorrow. He's saying okay. stop. So rewind about 10 seconds. So he say, I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow. Right. But within these next 20 years, why, how do you think Esau know that? Right. He's okay. wiser than Daniel. <laughs> right. Like Bring I say, he's equal 28. That's right. They yeah. know what time it is, brothers right. and sisters. Right. Hey, our salvation is nearer than when we believe. That's right. 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 Bring it up. All praise to the most high oh, for that praise thing right there. Bring it up. Oh, go back to the video. Not everything is planable. Not everything is going to be honky dory in the next 20 years. I'm not saying it is going wrong tomorrow, but we have to realize it's not a given that we are in peace. And that's why we have the plans. Uh, hey, this is some good stuff, man. Y'all got yes, anything on that? Yes, sir. Hey, hey, Cal, you can see how he's looking off to the side like, I got to make sure I say the right thing because it seems like he knows mm -hmm. that these next 20 years, it's about to go down, but he can't spill the bean. Right. Hey, give me second address uh, 11 real quick. Start at verse uh, 39. 39. Better said. Second address 11, 39. Because Cat was bringing out earlier that uh, um, this man, re watch this, read this, read this real quick, now I go to it. The book of Second Ezra, chapter eleven and verse thirty-nine. Uh huh. Art not thou it that remainest of the four beasts? Uh huh. Whom I made to reign in my world? Who what? That I made to reign in my world. Like Cat was bringing out, this white man has no power. The Most High God allowed him to reign in this world. Read. That the end of their times might come through them. The end of what? Their times might come through them. This is what he's saying. They're going to go to war with Russia because the end of this man's time is going to come through NATO. There you go. Right out. It's going. It's going to come. It's going to come through Esau. Right. Primarily, right there, from Rome to America. That's wow. right. Okay. Within that passage, the officer just brung out because I believe we were just talking about it up here. Oh, you mentioned uh, the quote from Bishop Yawasa. Right. Right. Sir. They don't even realize that they're going to be forced to push the button. Push the button. Right. Because push the button. as we remember, give me Isaiah 34 and 8. Remember, everything is about us. That's right. The reason why they're at That's war right. is because of us prophesying, right? So when it comes to that point where they got a war against each other with uh, the war of Armageddon, when they all have to flee and, and meet for battle, it's because of us. Right. All right, we don't want y'all to forget, and we don't want y'all to get confused for one second. So we're going to make it plain for you. And we're going to go back to 2nd Ezra 11, uh, what the officer just brought out. Watch this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, and verse 8. Come on. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance, and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. Right, and the year of recompense for the controversy of Zion. We read earlier, refresh their mind real quick, 2nd Ezra 15 and 20. Then we're going to go back to 2nd Ezra 11 and 39. The recompense is what? The nations gathering together for warfare. That's the recompense of That's the nations. Right. Watch this. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 20. It just uses another word in this in this verse. Watch this. Behold, saith God, mm -hmm. I will call together all the kings of the earth. Come on. To reverence me. To do what? Reverence me. This is how they reverence the Lord. That's Come right. on. Which are from the rising of the sun, mm -hmm. from the south, mm -hmm. from the east. Come on. And Libanus. To turn themselves one against another. To turn themselves one uh, one against another. Watch this. And repay. And do what? Repay. Repay is the same thing as recompense. That's right. That's right. I hope y'all understand that. They're repaying, read. The things that they have done to them. Who's the them? The Israelites. Yes, right. The controversy is all about the Holy Land. Right. That's why all this is going on. Now let's go back to 2nd Ezra 11, 39. Watch this, y'all. Wow. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 11 and verse 39. Come on. Art not thou it that remainest of the four beasts, whom I made to reign in my world, that the end of their times might come through them? Right. This starts off to the Roman Republic, then to the Roman Empire, to the United States of America. That's, That's right. right. That's what this is talking about right here. Read verse 40. And the fourth came. Come on. And overcame all the beasts that were passed mm -hmm. and had power over the world with great fearfulness. There you go. That's how you know it's talking about the United States of America. Who has great power over the world? 
You can't say it's China. Right. Wow. You can't say it's Saudi Arabia. No. Nope. It's the United States of America. Yes, Come on. And over the whole compass of the earth. Come on. With such wicked oppression. With such wicked oppression to the point where he's going to piss off the most high mm. and put the spirit on the Arabians and they're going to do thus saith the Lord. Right. Come on. And so long time right. dwell he upon the earth with deceit. With deceit. But guess what? There's going to come a day. Well, all of that deceit is going to be brought down low. That's Give it all right. praise to the most honest That's son, right. Jesus Christ. That's That's right. Right. I'm going to end it right there. We had more, believe it or not. We did have more. All right, before we go to our next uh, segment, which is the topic of the day, we need all of y'all to subscribe on, to uh, IUIC Tallahassee 2. Two. Two. We, need, we need the subscriptions to go up. We need the likes, we need the shares, we need right. the comments, we need Every all of that. Day. All right, cause we are at Every war, brothers day. and sisters. We are at yes, war. Day. All right, so hey, IT, y'all ready for the next uh, segment? All right, play the clip. That's right. All right. So like we've been alluding to, like we've been alluding to, the Book of Clarence, uh, we're doing the Writings on the Wall special edition. That's a, that's a, clean, that's a clean thumbnail right there. Nice right there. That's all right. Okay. That's, all that's all right. right. That's all right. So Don't right there. Me. Don't you cheat me. Okay. <laughs> so right there, from left to right, we got the brother, I forget the actor's name, but he is depicting Christ when you read in the Book of Revelations, the first chapter the 14th verse on down, and Daniel the 10th chapter and the 5th verse, okay? So that is, let's read that while we got this image up. Read that for me real quick. Daniel 10 and 5 first, please. Could you leave up the, the image, please? All right, as we read this, watch this. The book of Daniel chapter 10 and verse 5. Come on. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphat. Come on. His body also was like the barrel, and his face as the, the appearance of lightning, mm -hmm. and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass. His arms and his what? And his feet like in color. Like in what? Color. All right, so let's get a definition of color just real quick. We got a lot to cover today on this movie, but let's get that because apparently, apparently color does not, no longer means what it's supposed to mean. Jeez. As soon as you actually present the proper color of our Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. they have a problem with it. Right. So I just want to see if, if color in their dictionary means what I thought it meant. Okay. All right, read that for us. Let's Bring it out. What that mean? Color. A phenomenon of light, such as red, brown, pink, or gray, or visual perception that enables one to differentiate otherwise identical objects. Right. Differentiate. Hey, I got something for you. Bring it up. I got something for you. <laughs> Differentiate likewise objects. So we're all humans, right? Yes, sir. Right. How are you able to, able to differentiate us? Uh-oh. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> by color. That's right. Phenotype. Right. By hair texture. Right. right. Hmm. All right. Wow. Let's read Revelations 1 and 14. Bring it up. Can you put the image back up, please? Read Revelation 1 and 14. Real quick, real quick. Come on. Come on. Book of Revelations chapter 1 and verse 14. Come on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. White like wool. So meaning what? Our Messiah had wooly textured hair. That's, that's, that's right. right. I mean, the, 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 the description is, is pretty spot on from what I'm seeing. Right. Let's read on. As no white as snow. Come on. Man. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read. And his feet. And his what? Feet. Read. Like unto fine brass. Brass. Brass is the color of copper or gold tannish. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they did what? Burned in a furnace. When you burn something, it turns black. Right. It turns right. black. So what are we finding out? That our Messiah, Jesus Christ, the most famous man on the face of the earth, That's right. is a black man. That's right. Now. Yeah, you get a round of applause for that. But why why is everybody so mad? 
Why is everybody so upset? You're going to learn today. All right, let's find out, man. Let's play the first uh, clip. Let's get into it. Book of Clarence, special edition. That's right. Oh, this the trailer? Yeah, play the trailer. Go ahead so the people can see. The Book of Clarence trailer. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to enlighten you. Hallelujah. Oh. When you see me, say hallelujah. Wow. I'm Clarence. Where I'm from, you fight to survive. I'm not a bad person. Just playing the cards I was dealt. Mom, one day I'm gonna get you out of here. I have a plan. What are we doing here? Jesus lives there. Hallelujah, baby. I don't want to be like that in 10 years. I want to be like that now. I need to figure out what inspires him. I can just replicate what he does. Imagine the money people will give us. Hallelujah. Holy shit, I get high as Buddha. Put you on that highway to heaven like I'm your Uber. Oh, dead one, open your eyes. Elijah. What are you trying to prove? And I'm not a nobody. You find fit, and you will find all the access. When you see me, say hallelujah. Clarence, you are guilty of the crime fraud for your own ill-gotten gains. If you give me Jesus of Nazareth, I will let you walk free, and I will give you power, wealth. You'll be somebody. I die before I give him up to Rome. Then death it is. Run! In spite of your selfish ways, there is a beautiful soul in there somewhere. Jesus of Nazareth. I'm a God, stop, so stop, me, stop, stop. Pause it. Bro, we ain't never seen. Right. We never That's seen right. imagery like that right. before. Right. Break it out. That right there is a depiction of Messiah stopping them from casting the, the stones. Bro. That's right. So that's why they really got a problem with it. Right. Aaron, go ahead. You look like you got something to say. Yeah, Cap. Hey, that depiction, like you said, is just re it's remarkable. Our people uh, 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 seeing um, um, the biblical images actually in front of their eyes. Right, they right, never right. seen that before. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna inspire our people to repent. Yes. Right. Hey, the first people to do it though, was Original Royalty <laughs> Film. That's right. 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 That's With Joseph Dream. We can't that's forget right. about that. Bring it out. We can't forget about that. That's right. Hey, but uh, so the, the plot, a lot of people got a problem with the plot, right. okay? Now it's the Book of Clarence. Is, this biblical? Is that part biblical? Do we read about that? No, you do not. But does that mean that type of spirit was not around during that time? Right. No. How yeah. do we know? Matthew 24, right? Right. Matthew 24. There should be a bunch of people saying that they're the Christ. Right. right? That's what I thought I read. Right. Verse 11, read that. The book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 11. Come on. And many false prophets. And finish up. I'm sorry. Many what? False prophets. And many false prophets shall do what? Shall rise. And shall deceive many. And shall deceive many. Now, to take it up a notch, give me verse 5. Verse 5. Come on. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. So, understand. Understand this. Yes. Yes. This happened during that time. Right. Okay. This happened during that time. And it's happening present day. That's right. Okay, so they can get mad at the director all they all they want, but this type of behavior was going on among our people right. in Jerusalem. Right. Right. And said. the beautiful thing is that we actually see what our people look like in Jerusalem. That's right. right. That's a beautiful thing right That's there. Right. Hey, real quick, real quick, give me Ezekiel 8 as well because a uh, little bit of spoiler alert. I'm sorry. I'm giving you the warning. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, I highly encourage you to do so. It's an right. excellent film. Okay. And secondly, just pause this part, go watch it, and then come back and watch the rest. <laughs> right, that's right. right. <laughs> that's it. All right. But no, just to show you, uh, because that one scene, remember they went to meet uh Jedediah the Terrible. Right, right. right. And it went into basically like a like a club brothel type right. set. Right. Okay. Wow. Our people were doing stuff like that. That's right. Give me um Ezekiel 8. Y'all familiar with this one? Give me verse uh, 11. Watch this, y'all. 
Ezekiel chapter 8 and verse 11. Go ahead. And there stood before them 70 men of the ancients of the house of Israel. Come on. And in the midst of them stood. stood Tell you what. Start at verse Start at verse 8. Watch this. Start at verse 8. Verse 8. Come on. Then said he unto me, son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold, a door. Mm -hmm. And he said unto me, go in and behold the wicked abomination that they do here. Right. The wicked abominations that they do here. What are we reading? The Bible. Who are we right. reading about? The Israelites. Right. There was much wicked abominations that was going on throughout the midst of our people. That's yes. right. That's right. Think about why Christ had to come in the first place. Right. Bring it up. You yeah. understand? Why right. did Christ have to come? <laughs> because Israel was cut off. Cut off why? Because of their iniquity. That's right. Because of their iniquity. Let's read some more. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things, and abominable beasts, and all the idols of the house of Israel. All the idolatry that was going on. Come on. Portrayed upon the walls round about. Right. So just to show you, in uh, Jose 4 and 1 real quick, just to show you this is not far-fetched, not uncommon, all right? So you can go into the movie just looking at it for what it is. Right. Rather yeah. than having Esau or you stupid black Christians out Ooh, there bring it out. who don't know the Bible in the first place, right. the hell is you this? going into the movie thinking about, oh, this is wrong, I can't, no, 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 no. It's a depiction of the other side right. of what our people were actually doing. Right. It's more truth to it than lies. I'll right, tell you right, that. Right. Read that. The book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 1. Come on. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. The Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Go ahead. Because there is no truth. Because there's what? No truth. Because there is no truth. Read. Nor Bunch of mercy. Liars. Come on. Nor mercy, mm -hmm. nor knowledge of God in the land. Uh huh. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery. And committing what? Adultery. And committing adultery. Come on. They break out and blood touches blood. Right. All types of evil was going on in the midst of our people. Right. But watch this in the same book of Hosea. Let's go to chapter six. Watch this. Hosea chapter six. Remember, we asked the question why did Christ come in the first place? Give me the book of Hosea chapter 6 and verse 6. Watch this. The book of Hosea chapter 6 and verse 6. Start at, uh, start at 4. Watch this. Verse 4. Mm -hmm. O Ephraim, what shall I do unto thee? Come on. O Judah, what shall I do unto thee? This is going into southern and northern kingdom. Come on. For your goodness is as a morning cloud. Right. Your goodness is as a morning cloud. A clouds do what? They fade away. They pass right. away. Right. Meaning what? Your goodness is according to the law. Message. But if it fades and goes away, that means you're in the midst of sin. Right. Read. And as the early do, uh -huh. it goeth away. Uh -huh. Therefore, have I hewed them by the prophets. Read. I have, I have slain them by the words of my mouth. Go ahead. And thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. Watch this. For I desired mercy and not sacrifice. Why did the prophet say that right there? Because Christ was speaking through him during this time. Yeah, yeah, right? Through the prophet Isaiah, uh, Hosea. He said, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Why? Because if it's still sacrifice, all of us would be put to death. Right. Showing you how evil of a people we were. Bring it up. Now, let me show you something. Hold that. Matthew 9 and 13. You better Watch read this. your Bible. Watch this. Matthew chapter 9, verse 13. What is this talking about? Read what you got. The book of Matthew chapter 9 and verse 13. Come on. But go ye and learn what mercy and no, not. No, no, no. Read it right. Oh, yes, sir. The book of Matthew, chapter 9, and verse 13. Come on. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy. Who? Wait, wait. He says, I. Who is that right there? Jesus. That's Jesus That's the right. Christ. That's right. That's right. So he said he would have mercy. Why? Because our people's in the midst of sin. That's, That's right. right. So don't be thrown off to see that our people's in the midst of sin in the movie. Right. Bring it Ain't our people in the midst of sin right now? Weren't you in the midst of Bring sin? It Bring it out. These black Christians, they, right. they make me sick. Right. Finish that, that off. Like Read it again. This. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. Come on. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. That's why Christ came in That's the first right. place. You know? So get that foolishness out your head. Officers, y'all got anything uh, before we go to this first clip? I got a statement. Yeah, go ahead. Um, why they didn't say nothing when the Passion of the Christ came? Uh -oh. Bring it out. Bring it out. Huh? Uh -oh. Bring it out. Huh? <laughs> why you say nothing? In time, we got an image. Damn. Now you want to say something because you see a dark skin. That right. is this. That's all I want to say. Hey, now they want to say something when they know that what? 
what is being portrayed on these movies is a mm -hmm. biblical mm -hmm. depiction. Right. And what you see the prophets on the corners all over the world Man. is showing our people. That's why they got a problem with it. Because they see that what? These scriptures is what's going to wake our people That's up. Right. And it's visually coming into the movie theaters for our people to see. That's right. right. All right. So let's play this first uh, clip. Let's play this first clip real quick, real quick. Uh, I believe it's uh, just so your average Christian. All right, saying some foolishness. So pull that up for us. And just like Officer Samson said, where was he when Passion of Christ came out? Right. right. All right, pull that up for Come us. Come on TikTok now, dog. Uh -oh. Bring it on. I see y'all all right. Say something. Try to refresh it. Because mm -hmm. uh, I would like that video. Kind of go, Kind of goes with the flow. We kind of set it up perfectly. Right, actually. right. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Lasaz. You want to say something? Yeah, uh, let me get that in Psalm chapter two because what, like, what we see the movies coming out. You know, what I'm saying good images, good imagery. You know, what I'm saying we have haters, haters of the other nation, of course, <laughs> and then we also have haters of our own people. <laughs> All right, go ahead and read verse one. The book of Psalms chapter two and verse one. Uh huh. Why do the heathen rage? Read. And the people imagine a vain thing. Why? Why are you getting mad at this? Right? Mm -hmm. Yes, there may be some things that aren't biblically accurate, but it, what? It's symbolic for certain things, like, like Christ, the black Christ, you know what I'm saying? The Us walking in order, you know what I'm saying? Cap alluded to earlier in the show, you know what I'm saying? How what? Walking in order, you know, the Most High is setting us up in order right in front of their eyes. That's right. And you getting mad at that? Read on. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together uh -huh. against the Lord. And against his anointed. And that's what they're all trying to do. So what? For all people going against this movie, going against the Israelites, you are joining in with the heathen. Right. You're raging with them to what? You're trying to but keep us here in Babylon on the bottom of society. All right. All right. All right. You got it. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. The Book of Clarence is the worst movie I have seen in a very long time. Come on now, If dog. not ever. I don't mean that from the standpoint of, you know, bad scenes or bad acting or the music didn't fit, none of that. I don't mean it from that standpoint. I mean it for the utter, utter, utter disrespect for Jesus Christ and the faith of Christianity. Oh gosh. I'm not gonna sit here and try and nitpick every instance of my frustrations and, and confusion and, and anger that came up when it came to this movie. For this video, I'm only gonna talk about one instance that for me, it offended me. I'm just gonna. I'm just being honest. Hey, I, I'm sorry. And I gotta I'm, say this. He, he, it shows you black people don't have their own thoughts, right? right. Because he has literally said nothing yet. Right. He's just talking about how he's upset about how it goes against Christianity or something like that, as if Christianity stands for anything. Right. right. Do they even keep God's command? What is he talking about? What moral? What does Christianity even stand for? Bring you understand? Up. Go Ooh, back. I'm sorry. I'm getting all right, play it. It offended me oh, that they gosh. had the audacity to do this in this movie. And that was having him go through a, a replication of the crucifixion of Jesus. And the reason all right, why... All right, stop, 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 stop. Give me Matthew 11 and 6 Come real on quick. Now, dog. He's offended. Here. He's right. offended. Right. Uh, and I'm going to let you know, if he did not know, and if you Sunday Christians did not know this, Christ was not the only person who was crucified. Right, right. He's an idiot. He's a freaking yeah. idiot. Because crucifixion was a tool, it was a capital punishment, mm. is something that the Romans used. Right. The Romans aren't the only ones who ever did crucifixion. Bring it up. Different empires before them did crucifixion as well. So there's many people that were crucified. Okay. Think about the two mal malefactors next to Christ. They were crucified too. Right. Bring it up. And guess what? All of them had to carry the cross. And had to be whipped. Everybody, that was part of the crucifixion. He did not know. They didn't know that. Didn't know that. that was a part of crucifixion. <laughs> Bring it out. Okay. Sheesh. Sunday Christians, they don't know anything. What did I say? What did I call? Matthew 11 and 6. Thank you. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 11 and verse 6. Go ahead. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. So, bruh, bruh, you not blessed. Right. You not blessed, Bring bruh. It. Because you upset. What he's really upset is that they showed a black Christ. Right, right. That's, that's what he's really upset about. That's right. He, you know, when I saw the movie, I was like, "Damn, yeah, I know this dude's not portrayed to be Christ. I know he's not Christ." But what I saw, I saw my brother. That's right. Being persecuted. That's right. By right. our enemies. That's right. what I saw. And that, and I, I was like, "Damn, I feel this scene right here." 
Because that's what it is. Because the same thing's happening today. Right. right. Seeing our brothers killed in the streets Bring by the up. hands of our enemies. Bring it up. There ain't no difference, bro. But you don't see it like that because you don't see your brother as your brother. That's you right. see the white man as your brother, which automatically makes you see your brother as your enemy. Right. That's right. Yeah. Read the verse again. The book of Matthew, chapter 11 and verse 6. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. Mm -hmm. That's it on that? Yes, sir. Hey, real quick. Go to the, uh, I think I got an article about uh, crucifixion, ain't it? Go Pull that up. I'm looking for a precept. Just came to mind. The history and pathology of crucifixion. Yeah, the history of So, I mean, what? It ain't just happened one time, right. uh, dude. Hell wrong this guy, man. Go ahead. In antiquity, crucifixion was. Uh oh. Get him, somebody get this guy some water or some coffee or some tea. Is he okay? He needs some milk. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let him clear his throat. Sorry about that, Cap. I know your, your throat, it couldn't have been moist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't choke, don't choke. <laughs> I'll break <it>. Damn. Hey, <laughs> In antiquity, crucifixion was considered one of the most brutal and shameful modes of death, probably originating with the Assyrians and Babylonians. All right. They've been doing this to us for some time, brothers uh, and sisters. All right. all right. Understand that. Let's read on. It was used systematically by the Persians in the 6th century BC. Alexander the Great brought it from there to the Eastern Mediterranean countries in the 4th century BC. And now, to, this is something the precept I was looking for, but just to show you, crucifixion has been or is going around from it says since Assyria, but Rome they popularized it. They made they made that thing perfect. Give me um Lamentations 5. Uh give me verse one, and then we'll jump down. Watch this, y'all. The book of Lamentations, chapter 5 and verse 1. Come on. Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Uh-huh. Consider and behold our reproach. Right. Our reproach, all right? Our reproach is not a good thing. The heathen ruling over us, man. By right. much wicked oppression. Jump right. down to verse 8. Verse 8. Come on. Servants have ruled over us. There is none that doth to deliver us out of their hand. Right. Our servants is supposed to be the uh, other nations like Esau. The Romans, right. they're supposed to be in servitude to us. Right. Right. We're not supposed to be joined hand to hand with these people. Right. Okay? That's what your mans on the TikTok video don't understand. Right. He don't understand that thing. Now watch Bring this. Read that verse again. Servants have ruled over us. There is none that doth deliver us out of their hand. Verse 12. Verse 12. Princes are hanged up by their hand. By their what? Their hand. By their what? Hand. Dang. You see that? You see that? It's not. It wasn't just during that time. All throughout our history, this is this is the plight of the black man. And here in America, wow. they used to burn us at the stake. They did that to the Northern Kingdom and us. All right, All right where they would tie us to the to the uh, wooden stake and burn right. us. You're gonna learn today. Crucif it's still crucifixion. They don't understand that crucifixion happened in America too. Right. So what the hell is this dude talking about? Read that verse again. Princes are hanged by their hands. Read. The faces of the elders were not honored. Right, because they had to be shamed in front of all their people. All right, and be hanged by the stake, ordered crucifix, stake and crucifix. They go hand in hand. Right. All right. Let's go back to that article for this for this guy out here, this clown. Go ahead. The Phoenicians introduced it to Rome in the third century BC. It was virtually never used in pre-Hellenic Greece. The Romans perfected crucifixion. They perfected it because they did. Give me that in uh, wow. First Maccabees chapter one. Verse 7. They perfected it because they had a damn devil. Right. Shit. What the hell is this? Read that. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 1 and verse 7. Come on. So Alexander reigned 12 Because remember, years. Alexander, he was over Greece. From Greece, Greco Roman Empire, and to the uh to the Romans. You understand? So they're all mm -hmm. the same people. I just want right. y'all to know that. Read. And then died. And his servants bear rule everyone in his place. Mm -hmm. And after his death. They all put crowns upon themselves. Come on. So did their sons after them many years. Mm -hmm. And evil. And what? Evil. Did what? Were multiplied in the earth. Right. Now go back to that article about them perfecting that. Read that. The Romans perfected crucifixion for 500 years mm -hmm. until it was abolished by Constantine the first. All right. So just to show this guy that crucifixion is not just it didn't just happen to one man. Right. That's our history. Message. Even here on this side, we were be, we were being hanged by our hands, sometimes by our neck. You understand? Mm. It's the same exact thing. That's right. All right. So uh, 
there was something else I wanted to go into. Go back to that video, please. No, no, no. There's something else. Go to the next. Keep the order. I think there's another uh, article or something like that. Let's keep it rolling. Yes, sir? Um, yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Real quick. So going off with that brother saying uh, Matthew 5 or 10, right? Because the brother, he's saying, you know, I'm mad because it didn't follow the ways of Christianity and how he's following, you know, he's doing the same type of thing that Christ, what happened to Christ, like his death. What you got to understand, when you serve this truth, I mean, when, you, when you're in this truth and you're serving it in righteousness, this is going to happen to right. you. Right. These types of things, death, you know what I'm saying, trials and tribulations, true tribulations is going to, but what's going to happen? You can end up dying. You That's end up right. Dying, or you will see Christ. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 10. Uh-huh. Blessed are they which are persecuted Read. for righteousness' sake. For righteousness' sake. John 15, 13. That's what you got to think, right? Because what? Yes, if you watch the movie, you know what I'm saying? Spoilers may come out, but there's certain things. What? Yes, a brother had a, he had a certain journey to get to a certain point. Mm -hmm. And then he realized the error. He realized certain things. And then he's like, you know what? I got to do this for my people. I'm not going to give up. You know what I'm saying? And he, he, he right. died for Christ. Right. 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. Spoiler yeah. alert. I, I don't want to explain. Hey, I got, we got to say, we warned the people. <laughs> right. So, right. so this guy's he's mad because a black man died for Christ. He wasn't right. the only black man that died for Christ. Right. right. And once again, this is not in, we don't read about clans in the Holy Scriptures. It's not mm -hmm. in there, but it's symbolic of our people. That's, That's right. right. Hey, Cap, like the white man went straight to his face. Hey, we know it's not you. Give him up. He yep. was like, no, take me. We're right. going to read that. John 15, 13. The book of John, chapter 15, and verse 13. Uh-huh. Greater love have no man than this. Read. That a man laid down his life. For his friend. That's what you got to do. That's right. what this truth's That's about. Right. That's for your family, for your nation. You got to be able to do that. Hey, Cap, can I get a quick Go ahead, quick? go ahead. Hey, give me uh, 1 Maccabees 11. Because this is why the brother hated the scriptures. I mean, uh, hated the video uh, of the movie. This is exactly why he hated the movie. Read that. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 11 and verse 11. 21. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 11 and verse 21. Read. Then... Certain ungodly persons. Certain what? Ungodly persons. Read. Who hated their own people. This is why he really hated the movie. Because he hated his own people. Right. He see a, a depiction of his people uh -huh. uh, in the Bible. And guess what? Now I don't I don't like the movie because it's up. not showing Caesar Bogier as Christ. There it is. Read on. Went up to the king <laughs> and told him that Jonathan besieged the tower. Right. This is what he's doing on TikTok, on social media, trying to persuade other people. I don't like the video. That's because he see what our people in the video. Mm -hmm. You all right. All right, let's go back to it. Or right, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Because, yeah, this is what they're saying. Blasphemous Book of Clarence. So they already put that stigma out there. Mm. A lot of our people going to be like, ah, that's going to be a bad movie. Right. Because right. that's what our people do. They go to the white man in want of everything. Right. It's a curse. Right. But once we repent, we wake up and see things for what they truly are. That's right. right. Let's read that, please. Blasphemous. The Book of Clarence, film backed by rapper Jay-Z, pushes black Hebrew Israelites propaganda with race-swapped Jerusalem. Wait now, a minute. Do you, Wait. What Wait the hell? Minute. Do you see the disrespect? <laughs> right. It says race-swapped. Now, I'm going to show you something because that go to Esau's pride. I'm going to let you know something. The reason why they let this film come out First of all, they had no choice because there is a God. That's yes, right. Secondly, they did because of their pride. They're like, niggas, we got y'all, and we got y'all so low, it doesn't matter if we let this video come out. We're just going to say, don't watch it. It's blasphemous, and they're swapping races. Right. And because we trust in our whiteness so much, mm -hmm. we're just going to release the video, and it's not going to do any damage. Come on now, dog. Y'all see that foolishness right there? That's right. right. So they say it's Hebrew Israelism, but not actual Bible. Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. Yeah. Bring it out. <laughs> Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. What the hell? Ray Swap. The hell you, what the hell? You know, right. lost your damn Watch life. this. Right. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Come on. Judah mourneth. It's a Judah mourneth. A hey, Jews is short for Judah. That's, That's right. right. If you did not know. Come on. And the gates thereof languish. The leaders have failed us. Go ahead. They are black. They are what? Black. They are what? Black. Job 30 and 30. Every Bring it up. You hear me? Every the devil is a lie. Day. The devil yeah. is a lie. That's right. Understand that. Watch this. That's right. The book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. Come on. My skin is black. My skin is what? Black. What? Black. 
Black. Black. Yes. Bring Sorry it on. Solomon one and five. Come on, man. Bring it out. They playing games out here, bro. That sure is. <laughs> <You're> crazy. <laughs> Watch this. The book of Songs of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Go ahead. I am black. He is what? Black. Acts chapter 21, verse 37. Bring it, Bring it out. Come on, Ray. Swap it the <laughs> hell. All right. Show me in the Don't Bible that the this. Jews is white. Show it. Can't do it. Come I shouldn't even. We, bruh, we, ain't got, we got the scripts. You right. show us one scripture that says that Christ is white. Right. You show me one scripture that say that the Israelites are white. Mm. You ain't going to find it. it no way. That's why they got to put out this type of propaganda out there to disrupt the minds of our people. Right. Read what you got. The book of Acts, chapter 21 and verse 37. Come on. And as Paul was to be led into the castle, he said unto the chief captain, may I speak unto thee? Mm -hmm. Who said, canst thou speak Greek? He's asking, can you speak Greek? Why is he asking him that? Read. Art thou not that Egyptian? Art thou not that what? Egyptian. Egyptians are what? Black. Black. That's, That's right. right. So he mistake That's Paul right. the Apostle for an Egyptian, a Hamite, an African. Showing you what? Go back to the article, bro. Ray Swap, my, my ass. Right. right. Here's what it is. <laughs> Read that. Jay-Z is never beating the Go back to the title. Follow me, people. Yeah, the title. Read that. Blasphemous. The Book of Clarence. Film backed by rapper Jay-Z pushes black Hebrew Israelites propaganda. With race swapped Jerusalem. Hey, could you give me the definition of propaganda? Because he was actually pushing truth. Right. You That's know, right. I, I'm not a supporter of Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? But this movie, you know, I'm glad he supported it because it was it was pushing uh, for the first time something that is historically accurate right. according to the imagery. That's right. Read that. What, what is propaganda? Watch this. Propaganda. A congregation of the Roman Curia having Jerusalem. No, no, no. Two. Verse. Uh, well, Definition Ooh. two. Oh. Ooh. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Definition two. The spreading of ideas. The spreading of ideas. Information. Come on. Or rumor. Or rumor. For the purpose of helping or injuring an institution, a cause, or a person. Can we go back to that Second Corinthians two? And this with the saver, was it sixteen? Yeah. The book of Second Corinthians, chapter two and verse sixteen. Watch this, y'all. To the one, we are the savior of death. Can this guy get it? Can I? Can he get it? Can he say savior again? Savior. Read it right. Read come it again. On, come on. Come on. The book of Second Corinthians, chapter two and verse sixteen. Come on. To the one, we are the savior of death. Right. To Esau, we're the savior of death. To them, they have to say it's propaganda because if they don't, right, they automatically ex they accept their death. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's what it is. Go ahead. To the one, we are the saver of death Come on. unto death. Uh -huh. And to the other, the saver of life unto life. So what they're trying to do, they're trying to flip that scripture. Right. Mm. That's what they're trying to do. Now go back, because they say it's a race swap. It's not a race swap. It's actually the truth for once in the earth. Yes. All right. the Father. Let's read some of this. Jay-Z is never beating the Illuminati allegations, especially after teaming up with the Harder Than Fall director, James Samuel, for a project that is every bit as racially divisive as it is blasphemous. A, wow! a film that would have been a film that would have been called racist if it was written by a white guy. You damn right. Right. Hey, that's that's their pride. You can't speak on black issues that's because right. you're white. Right. And black people can speak on black that issues. Is that's right. Think about all of the damn slave movies. Bring that the up. damn white man is made right. and nobody says nothing. No, right. no right. word. That's racist as hell. Right. You understand? A black man makes a movie showing the true oppression that the Romans had, who gave uh, the the Romans gave to the Israelites, and it's racist. Right. right. No, that's that's historically accurate. Wait dude. a minute. They are they are hypocrites. They are lying nation, and they all praises, bro. I, I'm 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 thankful that we know they will be destroyed one day. That's, that's right. right. That's right. our patience, bro. Oh, we got to be patient. Damn liars. Damn liars, man. Somebody got something before we keep because we got yes, a lot of stuff. Hey. Just want to hear y'all real quick. Yes, sir. Uh, the um, those slave movies that you're talking about, Cap. 
these are the movies that our people love to see themselves on the bottom. Right. But when they see, when, uh, like the Book of Clarence, showing a great image or mm -hmm. a good depiction of our people, now our people hate the hate hate uh, the uh, video. For wow. It. Right. Because um and on um, the Maccabees, what what they did, they opened the Book of Our Law mm -hmm. and they painted. Get that. The get pictures. that. Get that uh, verse. There you go. Oh, bring it out. Bring it out. Mm -hmm. First Maccabees, Maccabees. three, oh, chapter three and verse forty-eight. Let's see what the heathen, the so-called white man, did. Read. And laid open the book of the law. So they got our books, read. Wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their image. So they got our dark skin images and started painting their white skin images in our book, read. They brought also the priest garments and the so first that's all they So they, what, what are they talking about? Right. That propaganda. They changing our um, color. That's right. Christ is a black man according to this Bible. That's right. right. Hey, real quick, I do want to get on these Christians real quick. Hey, go back to that. Um, go back to the uh, to the trailer. Start from the beginning. I want to get on these Christians real quick. All right, watch this. I'm here to enlighten you. Hallelujah. I'm Clarence. Where I'm from, you fight to survive. I'm not a bad person. Just hey, stop. So what did that me. also just show us? That also showed us what? That the gladiators in Rome were who? Were Israelites. Israelites. That's mm. right. Were black men. Right. And they were slaves. Yeah. Right. You see that? We've been in slavery all throughout our history. Right. You understand? They dropped, they dropped there's many nuggets. There's a lot of, like I said, there's way more truth in this movie than there is lies. Right. That's right. I'm going to tell you straight. Go ahead. <clears throat> Mom, one day I'm going to get you out of here. I have a plan. What are we doing here? Jesus lives there. Hallelujah, baby. I want to be like that in 10 years. I want to be like that now. Stop. I need to figure so, out. So the re another reason why the black Christian church is mad, because you see yourself in the movie. That's right. right. Because that's what a lot that's what these Christian pastors want to be. Right. Damn. They want the money thrown at their feet. Right. They right. want Bring everybody for that's what they want. We're gonna up. show you. Play on, play on, watch this, watch this. Come on. What inspires him? I can just replicate what he does. Imagine the money people will give us. Hallelujah. Imagine the money people. Give me uh, Jeremiah 5. Bring it up. Okay? Start at 25. We're going to read down about these wicked pastors out there. All right, watch this, y'all. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 5 and verse 25. Come on. Your iniquities have turned away these things. And your sins have withholding good things from you. Right, it says, and your sins have withholding good things from you. Showing what? Our people are a wicked nation of people. Come on. For among my people are found wicked men. Are found wicked men, read. They lay wait as he that set of snares. Right, so they have a problem. This ain't as blasphemous, but we see in the Bible, scripture after scripture, that our people was wicked. Right. Okay, right. time and time after again. Read the verse again. For among my people are found wicked men. Go ahead. They lay wait. As he that set of snares. They lay wait as he that uh, set of snares. Now we, we're going to read down and get a better depiction and find out what this is really talking about. Watch this. They set a trap. They set they, a trap. They catch men. Uh-huh. As a cage is full of birds. Come on. So are their houses full of deceit. Uh, their houses full of deceit. Right. Come on. Wow. Therefore, they are become great. And waxing rich. They have got, become great and waxing what? Rich. And have waxing rich by what? By lies and right. deceit. Come on. Yeah. They are waxing fat. Uh-huh. They shine. Yay. They overpass the deeds of the wicked. Uh-huh. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless. Right. They don't judge the cause of the fatherless like it says according to the law. Right. Why? Because they don't teach the law. All they teach Damn. about is prosperity. That's right. All they teach about is being swallowed. That's all they teach. <laughs> That's all they teach. Come on. Yet they prosper. But yet they prosper, even though they teach in lies. Come on. And the right of the needy. And the right of the needy, which are our people, the Israelites. Yes, Come sir. on. Do they not judge? Do they not judge? Come on. Shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord? Come on. Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation uh -huh. as this? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely. You see that? The prophets prophesy falsely, and they fill in their pockets with right. the people's Bring money. That's, That's right. you Sunday Christians. That's why you had at the movie, right. because it's talking about you, That's a false right. prophet. Right. Come on. And the priests bear rule by their means. Micah 3 and 11. Micah chapter 3, verse 11. Bring it 
All right, they just mad that they shining light because that's what the that's what the movie was depicting. Right, it was showing it was shining light on all of these false pastors out there. That's right. right. Read that. The book of Micah, chapter three and verse eleven. Come on. The heads thereof judge for reward, Mm -hmm. and the priests thereof teach for hire. And they teach for what? Hire. Teach for the money. Now, I want to get the book of Acts eight, and I open it up to y'all. We almost done. We almost done. Acts eight, real quick, because. This ain't far-fetched. Obviously, it don't say Clarence, but the movie was obviously inspired by certain scriptures in the Bible, okay? Like I said, we're not going to go over everything, but we're going to touch a few points. So give me the book of Acts chapter 8, and I want verse I want verse 9. Watch this. The book of Acts chapter 8 and verse 9. Mm-hmm. But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city. You... Uh, start at 6, but read fast, please. Verse 6. And the people with one accord gave heed unto these things, which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Mm-hmm. For the unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with, with the palsies, and that were lame were healed. Come on. And there was a great joy in the city. Mm-hmm. But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery, mm-hmm. and bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out that himself was some great one. Did we did we make that up? No, sir. But what were the reading? The Bible. So Sean, what? There were men like this during the time of Christ and the apostles. That's right. right. All right. So we showed earlier up that Philip, what? Remember, he had holy, uh, he had powers. He had the Holy Spirit on him. He was able to heal the sick. Right. So this sorcerer, he ended up seeing that and he wanted to get that mm-hmm. same power. Similar to that's what Clarence wanted to do. Right. All right, because he was in debt to, you know, the dude. Right. All right, so he wanted to get out of it, and he wanted to be the Messiah. Because he didn't know any better. He didn't believe on uh, Christ at the time. Right. All right, let's read on. Come to on. whom they all gave heed, mm-hmm. from the least to the greatest, saying, this man is the great power of God. Uh-huh. And to him, they had, they had regard, because that of long time, he had bewitched them. With right. sorceries. Right, just like the Christian church. The pastors, they're being bewitched. How it th- Nah, I ain't gonna talk about that. But <laughs> these pastors, they have bewitched the people, performing fake miracles. Bring it up. You've seen them. Yeah. You've seen the, the 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 telethons. You've seen all of that. Laying hands. You've seen Tyler Perry lay hands on T. What the hell is this? Right. You understand That's what I'm saying? Right. All of that stuff is garbage. It's fake. That's right. Just like what we're reading here. Come on. But when they believe Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. This is what they really, this is the problem they got. What black Christians haven't come to the, uh, to the re- realization of is that you actually hate God. Right. That's what it is. Black Christians Man. hate God and the Bible and his people. That's right. Because you finally get a film that shows you the proper depiction and you speak ill of it. You hate it. You can't stand to see your people portray the people of the Bible. You understand? Right. That's what it is. So when they heard Philip, which was a follower of Christ, teaching the right way, they said, you know what? I want to follow that. And I don't want to follow Simon's sorcery no more. Right. That's what's wow. wrong with the Christian church. Right. That's why they're upset. And that's why you got a problem with this Bible, but you, they, it ain't us. You got a problem with God. That's, that's right. right. Go ahead. Then Simon himself believed also. Right. So he believed also. You know, it's crazy. Didn't Clarence end up believing? Right. Yes, sir. Right. Yep. You understand? There's, there's more. You know, Simon went off a little bit. But just understand these concepts are biblical. We're not saying that everything's spot on. But there is, like I said, there's way more good in that film than bad. That's Officers, right. Your ass on. Yes, sir. Um. Uh, a great point that you're making right now, Cap. So I remember in the movie, spoiler alert, one part of the movie, <laughs> what happened is he was using his friend Elijah to show that he had the spiritual powers, you mm-hmm. know, falsely so-called. So um, if you look at what the Christian pastors right now today, they can't heal the people, you know. Right, right. They have the same thing going on. They have brothers sitting to the side and mm-hmm. they talk to right, them, they bring them right, in, right. and they appear to heal the people, but what? They are deceiving the people. Message. So give me the book of uh, Matthew chapter 10 and verse 8. Mm-hmm. Bring it on. The book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 8. Uh-huh. The book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 8. Heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, uh-huh. cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. So the main part of this is a true prophet, freely he receives mm-hmm. and freely he gives. Right. So your Christian pastor, he's not coming into your church 
unless you paying him. Right. right. We right. go to Damn. we go to do the work of the Lord free. That's right. That's right. You all right That's with right. me? Remember, Christ right. said we and would do know, greater right. works. Right. right. And remember, right. give me First Corinthians thirteen and eight for these pastors that say they're healing people. Hey, where was the pastors <laughs> during COVID? You better say something. <laughs> right, right. Where were they at? <laughs> the Bible says. Why they ain't gonna heal nobody this? then? Right. right. Hey, remember? Oh, spoiler alert. Oh. Remember what Clarence said when the dude said, hey, me next. He said, oh, I can only do one of them. Right. 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 These damn pastors, they're not healing you. Right. Read, read that. 1 Corinthians 13 and 8. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 8. Come on. Charity never faileth. Read. But whether there be prophecies, mm -hmm. they shall fail. They shall fail. Come on. Whether there be tongues, Come on. they shall cease. Remember, tongues was one of the spiritual gifts of the Holy Spirit that was that the, the uh that was given once Christ ascended. Right. right. That was a spiritual power. Come on. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish Whether away. Whether there be knowledge, they shall vanish away. That's it on that? Yes, sir. So understand the powers of healing and all of that, that would be taken away. When you read right. Timothy, it talks about drink wine for your infirmity. Why? Because they would only be for a dispensation of time that the spiritual powers would be there. Meaning what? 2023, we don't have the powers of Christ and the apostles, but what we do have the power is to prophesy, to teach our people their nationality, that's and right. that's why they're so damn mad with this film. <laughs> this right. Because right. showing that imagery is teaching our people that we are the Israelites that's that's right. Right. according right. to the Bible. That's, right. Right. that's some good stuff right there. That's, that's right. right. Hey, right. let's keep it rolling, y'all. Let's keep it rolling. What else we got, IT? Hey, I told you it's going to be a long one today, and that's all right. That's all right. That's, that's, all, right. Right. that's, that's all, right. all right. Come on. I just love black Jesus. Mm. Oh, God. Because I am sure that he was black. I mean, the descriptions, there, even though my, my motivation for the book of Clarence wasn't to depict. Stop. He's just using wisdom. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let y'all know. Right. There ain't no way you make a movie like that. Right. And you don't know that Christ is black. That's right. Right. <laughs> so he's speaking in code right now. He's using wisdom. Like we encourage a lot of y'all out there, support us from the background. Right. That's right. All right? Read on. I'm sorry. Play on. Jesus is any particular color. I do believe that whatever your race, whatever your hue, you should be able to see Jesus at least once. You. In your own reflection, right? Because yeah. really, what color was Jesus? Well, Jesus was the color of Jesus. Because we <laughs> wasn't no, that don't make no damn sense. <laughs> <It don't. laughs> but hey, hey, I, we uh, we know what he's doing. Right. You know? right. Go ahead. Blue dot. Wait, what's, 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 but, That's exactly. what we know. He was not from <clears throat> Sweden. Like, what color was Jesus? Jesus was the color of Jesus. But he was not from Sweden. He did not look like Max von Sydow. He did not look like. Bjorn Borg. Bjorn Borg, right? <laughs> that was not G. I mean, you know, skin the color of burnt brass and... and you, you see? Right. So, yeah, he there you up. go. That's He's right. saying it without saying it. Because that's what... Hey, give me that in Ezekiel 2 and 8. Bring it up. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 8. Hey, stop getting so mad and speak in your mind. Speak the Bible. That's, that's right. Because right. right. there's safety in that. What are they going to say? That's what the Bible say. That's right. Read that. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 2 and verse 8. But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Oh, 3 so. and 8. 3 and 8. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 3 and verse 8. Come on. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, mm -hmm. and their forehead strong against their foreheads. No, I want to speak my words. Uh, 2 and 7. 2 and 7. I knew, I knew something like that. My apologies. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 2 and verse 7. Come on. And thou shalt speak my words unto them. Come on. Whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. There it is. So, yeah, he can say all of that, but then, obviously, he know. Right. He know. He know. Uh, let's keep it rolling, y'all. What else we got? All right, so y'all got the timestamps on this, right? All right, cool. Lake of Stanfield and James Samuel talk, the book of Clarence, addressing the controversy and more. I understand a lot of religious people are not happy with this situation. No, I, you know, I don't think um, religious people aren't happy. I think when the teaser dropped, and it's an amazing teaser. Absolutely. It, it, it's just that. It's a teaser. So it tells you, it just shows the story of a of a sinner. So people would just be up in arms at the visuals they're seeing. When you look at the movie, it's not blasphemous at all. And, you know, the conversation is good. We need that conversation. No, so is this movie... I, I, I agree. It's, it's not. Right. It's a different perspective, and they're not used to that. Right. They're just right. used to seeing a bunch of white, white people. That's right. 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 
It's a, not a different perspective. It's a true perspective. That's right. All right, there's some more on that. All right, go ahead. Saw a a clip of you where you explained how you were a fan of the old big movies, yeah, like Ben Hur and things yeah. of that nature. Yeah. And when I I didn't quite connect the dots until I found out you did uh, Harder They Fall. Yeah. Also very big. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, is that your thing now? You, you know what what it is like. You know, one I was born big. You know what I mean? <laughs> I always say, close your eyes and dream big, like Faith Evans. All right. But but here's the thing, like. Just growing up, all of us were watching Ben Hur, The Ten Commandments. You know, our parents would just have those joints on, and I love those. I love those movies. But while the stories are familiar, and we all know the, the stories that we that we grew up with, you know, the the imagery that, that, that they'll portray, the visuals aren't aren't really uh, uh, familiar. Like the people in those Stop. in those movies. He wanted to say not really accurate. Bring it out. I right. right. I hope y'all read it between the lines, man. The Message. Obviously. Like, for example, give me that one in 1 Corinthians 1 and, uh, what is it, uh, 25, 24, Not Many Mighty? Give me that one real quick. 1 Corinthians 1 and 24. Let me hear that. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 1 and verse 24. Mm -hmm. but, unto, uh, but unto them which are called, both Jew and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. It's, it's around there. Y'all looking at it? 26, thank you. Yep. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 1 and verse 26. For ye see your calling, brethren, mm -hmm. how that not many wise men after the flesh, Come on. not many mighty, mm -hmm. not many noble are called. Right, it says not many mighty, not many noble. I, I, all I can say is obviously I do know spirit is on him to do that. Right. I, is he going to repent? I ain't going to put my stock in it. I ain't going right. to do that. But obviously spirit on him to make such a film. That's right. Yeah, and I know where his inspiration came from. It came from the work that you brothers is out there doing. That's oh, right. Crazy. The brothers in the purple. That's, oh, that's right. right. All right, purple and gold. All right, go back. Go ahead. They didn't look like us. Furthermore, I don't know any white person that looks like Charlton Heston. You can't relate <laughs> to, you know what I mean? Kirk Douglas, Charlton Heston, Victor Mature, and all of those people in those, in those movies. Mm. But I can relate to Lakeith Stanfield. You see his eyes from the opening frame, and he just brings you with him. You're just there on a journey. So I just think that we deserve to have um, a movie that depicts an environment that we're all familiar with. White people and black people. You'll be familiar with this environment. Hey, no hey, he's telling the truth. Right. Because he knows right. the white people know the truth of the history. Right. Right. He said both right. white people right. and black people. Right. You're familiar with this. He's saying that Ben Hurst stuff, nobody's familiar with it. That's a lie. Right. Give right. me that in Psalm 74 real quick. Uh, yeah, Psalm 74. Hey, I like this, brother. He's very smart, eloquent in, in his speech. Psalm chapter 74. Uh... Give me verse 2. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 74, and verse 2. Come on. Remember thy congregation, which thou hast purchased of old. Right. We, we are the congregation of the Lord. Israel, come on. The rod of thine inheritance, mm -hmm. which thou hast redeemed. Come on. This Mount Zion, wherein thou hast dwelt. Read. Lift up thy feet unto the perpetual desolation. Uh-huh. Even all that the enemy hath done wickedly in the sanctuary. Right. The, the enemy has done much wickedness in our sanctuary. All right, by what? Like Samson brought out earlier, they changed the images from black Israelites to white people right. and defiled our sanctuary and our right. temple. Come on. Thine enemies roar in the midst of thy congregation. Uh-huh. They set up their inside. They set up what? Their. Spell it. T-H-E-I-R. That's possessive, meaning it right. belongs to them. So an ensign, pull that up. Give me a definition on ensign, please. Right. All right, so the people can see. It say they came into our sanctuary, our congregation, you understand? And defiled it. And they put up their ensigns and replaced to replace us. Read that verse. Wow. I mean, uh, you know what I meant. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, what's that? Ensign. Ensign. A flag that is flown as by a ship. So y'all know in all of our sanctuaries, we got what? The 12 tribes. Right. Those are all of our ensigns. Bring it out. Bring it out. Right. You understand? Dang. So we stand by our tribes. What did they do? They put up their own ensigns. Mm -hmm. You understand? And that's why they got those curly sideburns. That ain't in the Bible. Right. That's why they got them damn top hats. That ain't in the Bible either. Right. 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 No. They put up their own customs. They, they have something called Hanukkah brisket. Where the hell do you read about Hanukkah brisket in the Bible? Break it up. It's not in there. Right. Read the Bible again. Right. Verse 4. 
Thine enemies roar. And I don't want your brisket. I want <laughs> mine. <laughs> That's right. Mine tastes better anyway. That's, That's right. right. Damn it. Yeah, Flavor. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, read it again. Read it again. Understand. Verse 4. Thine enemies roar in the midst of thy congregation. Come on. They set up their ensigns. For signs. Right, for signs as if they are the actual people. That's right. Y'all see, I hope y'all see that thing, bro. And that's what the brother's saying. is like, nobody's familiar with that. But blacks and whites are both familiar with what history actually recorded. Right. That's what he's saying. It. There's some more on that? Come oh, on, no, go back. It, sir. That's it? Yes, sir. All right, there's another time stamp, right? All right, let's go to it. One is familiar. With Yul Brynner playing an Egyptian, <laughs> playing an Egyptian pharaoh saying, right. so it was written, so let it be done. No one is familiar with that tish. Yul Brynner looks like a G. But really, brothers and sisters, like, come on, man. <laughs> I love it. I love it, I love it, man. I love it. There's a commercial ad. Three T turn up, yeah. All right, let's go to the next timestamp. Or is there another one, or is there not? That was it? Okay. Y'all got anything, officers? Uh, just real quick, uh, Exodus 4 and 6 to go into mm -hmm. what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? He's literally saying, we all know there's there's color of people in the Bible, and they weren't white. They didn't look like Charles Manson. They didn't look like those other folks. All right, read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 4 and verse 6. Uh huh. And the Lord said furthermore unto him, put now thy hand into thy bosom. So we're reading about Moses. All right, put your hand in your bosom. Come on. And he put his hand into his bosom. Uh huh. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous. As snow. As what? Snow. So Moses, will it be a miracle if he was an Edomite red man and he took it out and his hand was white as snow? It wouldn't be a miracle. Read on. And he said, put thy hand into thy bosom again. Mm -hmm. And he put his hand into his bosom again and plucked it out of his bosom. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. As his other <laughs> flesh. Moses looked like the Egyptians. He was the same color as them. Black. So that's what they don't want our people to know. That's right, and guess what? You can't stop this. You can't stop the truth. It's out now, and guess what? We're going to keep on going until right. the kingdom come. That's right. Hey, give me Acts you 13 know, real right. quick. Give me Acts 13. Start at 1, but then I want you to jump down to verse 6. Just to show you, man, uh, the, the, the director, he obviously got his inspiration from the Holy Scriptures. Right. Okay, give me verse 1. The book of Acts, chapter 13. Verse 1. The book of Acts. Chapter 13 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Apologize. Bring it out. The book of Acts, chapter 13 and verse 1. That's the third time. Yeah. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called nigger. That was called nigger. Nigger means black. The That's church right. is who? Israel. That's right. All right. Now. Message. Jump down to verse 6. Watch this. Verse 6. Mm -hmm. And when they had gone through the owls unto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer. So it wasn't just Simon. No, I just found another sorcerer. Read. A false prophet. A Jew. He was from the southern kingdom. Read. Whose name was Bargesus. But no. Read it right, bro. Which name was Bargesus? Bro, we, Bar what's Come wrong with this guy? Now. Come what on, do y'all read it? Why can't read it right? Somebody read it. Come on, Verse man. Six. Still messing it and up. And when they had gone through the aisles unto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Bar Jesus. Right. Bar Jesus is right. what it says. That's right. Bar Jesus. Showing you what? You had false Christ, right. false prophets, mm, right no. there in the Bible. That's right. See that? Yeah. They don't know the Bible. You don't know the Bible, so be quiet. That's Bring right. Out. Be quiet. What else we got, IT? What's wrong with the reader tonight, right. man? I don't know. He said, Barge. Say, say, say. So yeah, we showing some uh just some images from the film. Come on, keep, come on, IT. Scroll it through. Yeah, man. It's, it the imagery is is spot on. It's a beautiful wow. thing, man. Thing. Yes, sir. Man, man, man. That's some That's good right. stuff. Was that it? Is that all our articles? Huh? Yes. Okay. Is this the last one right here? What was that? Okay. So what am I looking at right now? Oh. All right. Well, brothers, do y'all have anything before we go into the rundown? Yes, sir. Can I get something real quick? Let me get uh, uh, John 11. 
going into uh like the brother was bringing out the biblical depiction that was portrayed in this movie start at verse uh 47 the book of john chapter 11 and verse 47 because we just showed those photos and what you see uh the so-called uh blacks or the mm -hmm. jews and then what you see the romans right read then gathered the chief priests and the pharisees a council and said what do we do what do we for this man doeth many miracles. Because they were talking about Christ. Read mm -hmm. on. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him. Uh-huh. And the Romans. And the who? The Romans. The who? Romans. It's showing you that the Romans was what? Back then in those times and those were the Edomites. But read on. Mm -hmm. Shall come and take away both our place and nation. And guess what? It also shows you that the Roman was ruling over the uh, uh the Israelites during right. this time. There you go. Right. Right. That's can right. I get, uh, can I get Psalms chapter 19 and verse 4? Mm hmm. Let me get that. Bring it on. Because it's a um, great point that you were saying, Cap, about, you know, us going out and teach, you know, activating, you know, putting these things out so what our people can uh, be awakened. Right. Read that for me. The book of Psalms chapter 19 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Their line has gone out through all the earth uh -huh. and their words to the end of the world. Right. So as you can see, the line, what the teachings of the, uh, the true depictions of what Christ looks like right um the true teachings of the prophecies that we the true israelites according to the bible so give me the book of uh psalm chapter 85 verse 11 to um, go with this because what we're doing now is swallowing up all the lies that uh -oh. we've been taught for so oh. long oh. Oh. No, it's all right it's all right it's all right <laughs> you're speaking to oracles of god I'm, you're all right with me that's, right. that's, that's right. all praise read that for me the book of psalms chapter 85 and verse 11 uh -huh. truth shall spring out of the earth so as you can see now truth is springing out of the earth that's why you see things that's like right. these movies coming out you know, um, right. Joseph's dream. Right. Now you see the book of Clarence. What? These things are going to awaken our people. Read yes. that again. Truth shall spring out of the earth. Uh -huh. And righteousness shall look down from heaven. That's what you see happening right now. Truth springing out of the earth. That's right. Hey, just to back you up, uh, officer. Um, what's that? Revelations 12 and 15. Revelations 12 and 15. Then we're going to cut it right there and get it to the, uh, to the rundown. All right, watch this, y'all. The book of Revelation, chapter 12 and verse 15. Come on. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood. Right, water as a flood. And that's what you see with all of the backlash, with them saying it's blasphemy. That's part of the flood right there. Okay, brothers and sisters. They don't, they want to keep you as far away uh, from discovering the truth of who you really are as possible. Yes, okay, right. That's right. read that verse again. And the serpent cast out of his mouth as a flood. Right, Water. the serpent, remember that going to the false prophet. Just precept this together. Give me Revelation 16 and 13. We're coming right back to this. All right, watch this real quick. And how, did, how does he cast out the flood? By using these things right here. Watch this. The book of Revelations, chapter 16 and verse 13. Go ahead. And I saw three unclean spirits. Like right, the three unclean spirits. That's uh, economics. That's religion and politics. So that's how he cast out the flood against us. He also uses his what? He uses his television, his media. Right. He uses all of that to come against the Israelites. So go back to that's Revelation. Right. No, finish that, then go back to Revelation 12. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs mm -hmm. come out of the mouth of the dragon. Of the dragon, which is the serpent. Come on. And out of the mouth of the beast. Uh-huh. And out of the mouth of the false prophet. And out of the mouth of the false prophet. Caesar Bozier, that's a false prophet. That's you can't right. read about him in the Bible. Right. But you can read about a, a, a black depiction of our Lord and Savior, Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Right. Now go back to this in Revelation 12, 15. I want to show you something. The book of Revelations, chapter 12 and verse 15. Go along with the uh, officer just brought up. Watch this. And the serpent cast out of his mouth mm -hmm. water as a flood. Come on. After the woman. After the woman, when you read Jeremiah 4 and 2, that, that's, uh, wait. Did I say 7 and, 7 and 2 or 4 and 2? Give me that. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm misfiring. It's just a basic priest. So I think it's seven and two. Six and two. It's one of those and two. Somebody give it for me. Six and two. I'm the book of, it just slipped my mind. I'm sorry. The book of Jeremiah chapter six and verse two. Six and two. Yes. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. There it is. So when we read this particular verse, this is going into the Israelites. The woman represents Israel. Yes, right? right? So go back. Watch this. Revelations 12 and verse 15. Come on. And the serpent cast out of his mouth mm -hmm. water as a flood mm -hmm. after the woman. Come on. That he might cause her to be carried away right. of the flood. So when they say it's a race swap, when they say it's propaganda, when they say that it's uh, blasphemy, all of that is a flood to distract Israel from really waking up. That's right. right. Watch this. And the earth helped the woman. And the what? Earth 
Help the woman. Real quick, Sirach 1732. Real quick, Sirach, Ecclesiastes 17, 32. What, what, what is this talking about? Watch this. The book of Sirach, chapter 17, and verse 32. Come on. He viewed the power of the height of heaven, and all men. And all what? All men. Read. Are but earth. Are but what? Are but earth. Are but what? Earth. Earth. Read. And ashes. Now go back to Revelation 12, 15. Revelations chapter 12 and verse 15. Come on. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, and he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Right. If there, if God didn't have mercy on us, we would be cast away. Remember, it's according to God's mercy that we have not been consumed. That's right. You understand? Right. So because he has mercy, because he loves his people, he allowed this part to happen. Read. And the earth helped the woman. And the what? The earth. The prophets helped Israel yes. in these last days. Mm. Finish that. Help the woman. Come on. And the earth opened her mouth. And the earth opened her mouth with what? With the words of God. So That's let's get right. a most high round of applause for that thing right, right there. Right. For allowing this film to come forth, the book of Clarence. All right, All we're about right. to get into the rundown. We're going to make it quick. Right. we got Officer Losias, Officer Aaron, Officer Malachi, Officer Samson, Officer David. Play the clip. Let's get into it. Darkest of perils. Doomsday clock stays at 90 seconds to midnight. What we know. Wow! The clock was set close to midnight due to worries about Russia's nuclear arsenal, Israel's war on Gaza, and climate change. That's damage control. Give me the one of us. Uh, was it second Thessalonians? First Thessalonians five and three. Peace and safety. Give me that real quick. Second Thessalonians, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. It's first. It's first. 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 All right. Give me that, please. The book of First Th Thessalonians, chapter 5 and verse 3. Come on. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Right. They know what time it is. We, we heard the other dude. Right. They know what time it is. Right. All right. They know what time it is. Officers, y'all got anything on that? If you ain't give, got nothing, we going to keep it going. Give me some Psalm 37 and 40. Okay. Bring it on. <laughs> because what we got to do, we got to get what? We got to keep these laws and statutes and commandments. And the most I got, he will help us mm -hmm. if we do them thing. We he, he saved us from all the tempest. He saved us from destruction if we put our trust in him. Mm -hmm. The book of Psalms, chapter 37 and verse 40. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall help you them. You see that? The Lord shall help them, read. And deliver them. Uh -huh. He shall deliver them from the wicked. That's how we're going to be delivered if we put our trust in him and not us, read. And save them. Because they trust in him. We got to put our trust in the Lord if we want to be saved in these last days. That's right. Hey, uh, what you got about? Oh, you had some Officer Malachi? Oh, no, sir. I ain't All right. Uh, Rick Ross. Ross. See what Rick he Ross. talking about. What are you talking about? <laughs> Rick Ross declares war on the apocalypse. Plans underground bunker to rival Elon Musk. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait. The black man on, gets some now, money. Dog. Now he think he the same as the white people. Yeah. Uh, and a powerful nigga and dream so at work. Hey. Let me ask y'all a question. What? Let me ask y'all a question. Is Rick Ross doing the right thing by buying an underground bunker and Hell uh, no. and the coming of the apocalypse? Or what should he do? Should repent. repent. That's what I. That's what repent. I was thinking. Because Rick Ross, he don't even realize that the kingdom is literally is for him, right? And his people, you know. Uh. Y'all got something on? I know y'all got a precept. Come on now. Yeah, give me on Deuteronomy. Not Deuteronomy. Give me um Isaiah 59 and 2. That's right. Because this is what's going to separate you. Being separated from God, guess what? You're going to die. But if you uh, repent from your sins, he will hear you. Not on the ground bunker. Them suckers going to get blowed up too. Right. <laughs> give me that. Jeremiah 49, you know man. Right. Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 10. Let's get that real quick. The book. Go ahead. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 49 and verse 10. Uh-huh. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places. His, his secret places is an underground bunker. Right. So the most high, he say, you can't hide. You see that That's thing? Right. So, Ross, uh, no. so if you give me the one in uh Proverbs 11 and 21 and come right back to this. So if you want to follow after uh, Esau and get an underground bunker, just like he can't hide, you ain't going to be able to hide either, bro. That's right. And you're not the smallest dude either. He <laughs> showed like. <laughs> right. All right, bro. 
You need to repent, bro. You an Israelite. You an Israelite, bro. You got your beard. That's, That's right. good. Right. But you need to start wearing the fringes too. That's and right. Keep your shirt on. Right. And then live a righteous That's lifestyle. Right. Because that's what a righteous man would do. We got to turn from the folly, man. The, the, right. the, the white men want us to continue to rap and destroy our people, our right, nation. Right. But it's time for us to rise up as men of God and teach his Bible. That's right. right. I ain't taking shots. I'm just teaching the truth. That's, that's right. right. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 11 and verse 21. Come on. Though hand join in hand. Though you join hand in hand like Elam, you're trying to be like the white man. Come on. The wicked shall not be unpunished. The wicked shall not be unpunished. So let's go back to that in Jeremiah 49. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 49 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. But I have made Esau bear. Come on. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide mm -hmm. himself. His seed is spoiled. It's his, him and all of his people that come after, because like, like, like they like to say, oh, it wasn't us that put you in slavery. Right. Right. Yes, it was. And you're the same people killing us today. That's right. You're the same people mad that, there's a, that, that Christ is black now. Right. Right. You is the same people. Go ahead. And his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. And uh, officers, y'all got anything on that? Yeah. Bring it on. Go ahead, so go I ahead. got a precept. Uh, give me Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 18. Mm-hmm. You know, because Rick Ross, he's very wealthy, he's very rich, you know, and our people had a mindset that those things is going to save them in the day of wrath. Mm -hmm. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 3 and verse 18. Chapter 1. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 1 and verse 18. Bring it on. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. None of those things that you have is going to deliver right. you from the destruction that's coming. Right. Go ahead. Yeah. But the whole land uh -huh. shall be devoured by, fi mm -hmm. by the fire that's right. of his jealousy. It says the whole land going to be devoured. Go ahead. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. All those that are wicked that dwell in the land. So the only thing that's going to save you is to repent. Turn to this Bible and turn from your wicked. You all. That's right. All right. That's right. You all. Bring it on. All right. They are watching. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this is gay bomb. Oh, gosh. Damn. All right. Wait read that. Uh, okay. Wait. The read, WEF yeah. just confirmed a global CBDC. They admit they will track what you eat, your travels, who you speak to, and everything else you do in life. So what they, they the confirmed a global. What? Um, so let's play that <laughs> video. That? What? C C B D C Kabatuk. Is that what it means? <laughs> oh praise. That's just like uh barge. <laughs> barge. <laughs> 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 hey. Oh damn. <laughs> damn. Kales is locked up right now. That's crazy as hell. <laughs> IT, what's up? Y'all got the video? Yeah, yeah, play that. Developing through technology, an ability for consumers to measure their own carbon footprint. What does that mean? That's where are they traveling? How are they traveling? What are they eating? What are they consuming on the platform? So individual carbon footprint tracker. Hmm. Stay tuned. We don't have it operational yet, but this is something that we're working on. Do y'all see this? He said they ain't got it. They got it. That means they got it. You can't, you can't trust the white man. Can't trust them. At they all. Have yeah, it. Nah. They have it. Give me um, Psalms 37 and um, 32. You can't trust a white man. Don't, don't trust him that. His whiteness. <laughs> <laughs> you got to trust what the Bible say, dude. They, they already got the thing. They already tested it out of everything. Let's you read. better read your Bible. The book of Psalms, chapter 37 and verse 32. Watch this. The wicked watcheth the righteous. You see that? The wicked watches the righteous. Who the righteous is? You so-called blessing. It's better than back in there keeping these commandments. Right. Free. And seeketh to slay and him. And seeketh to slay the righteous. The Israelites. That's what they do. That's hey, right. I got a script. Uh, Daniel 7 and 8. Daniel chapter 7 verse 8 about the damn technology, bro. Like you say, they're always seeking a way to watch us and keep tabs on us. Right. For everything they do, so they can accuse us. And brothers and sisters, y'all better get ready. Okay, you better get ready. They got, you know, GPS. They got our phones. They got all this technology to monitor us and to try to shame the ministry. There's gonna come right. a time where it's gonna be all out persecution against the real church, the Israelites, right. and they're gonna dig up dirt that you have done. Right. right. Yes, sir. So y'all better y'all better mm. not fall for the damn okie doke like some, it's like some idiots like these black Christians out here. Right. Like, you better understand what they're going to do, bro. They're gonna try to tear this thing up from the inside out. Yes, right. sir. Fifth column. If you don't know what it is, go look it up. 
We got it amongst us right now. They just, they just like sleeper cells. They right, activate right, right. you. Yes, right. This is going to happen, and it's just showing you that technology, talking about everything you eat, uh, where you go, all of that. Uh, Daniel 7 and 8, watch this. The book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 8. Come on. I considered the horns, and behold, there came up among them another little horn. That horn right there, amongst the horns, is America. That's the little horn right there. Watch this. Before whom? There were three of the first horns plucked up right, by the, the root. The three is France, Britain, and Spain. Come on. And behold, in this horn. And his, in his horn, in America's horn, read. Were eyes like the eyes of man. Right. He has eyes like the eyes of man. He sees vision. You know who saw that vision? Oppenheimer. Yeah. Right. When he learned how to damn to see a satanic message and right. vision That's and create right. the, uh, Adam Bond. The hell right. is this? Yeah. Who does that? That's the right. hell is they this? They do. So it's just talking about, shoot, they created Adam Bomb back in the damn 30s and 40s. Right. Right. Wow. So you you better believe they got some technology today. That's right. Read. And a mouth speaking great things. So great things. Like the officer said, all it is 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 about the Israelites and against right. us. Yeah, some uh, yeah. officer. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Give me uh, the book of uh, Nehemiah uh, chapter 9 and verse 36. Start at, no, 37. Start at 37. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 9, and verse 37. Oui. And it yieldeth much increase unto the kings uh -huh. whom thou hast set over us because of our sin. Because what? But our sin. So they able to do these things or rule over us, check out, monitor our food, what we're buying, all consuming because of our sin. Right. Three. Also, they have dominion over our bodies. They have what? Dominion. Over our bodies. This is why these things are put in place. They're trying to have dominion over our bodies, right, Reed? And over our cattle. Over our what? Cattle. This is why what we was bringing out on the show, uh, Cat was bringing out, that what? They're trying to get rid of the livestock. Right, you right, right, right. Yep. Bring it up. Mm -hmm. At their pleasure. At their what? Pleasure. Because what? Their pleasure is to put us or keep us on the bottom. That's right. right. And we are in great distress. And that's what's going on with our people, but what? It's time to wake up and repent and come back to your God. That's that's right. Right. Now, Josias, we'll let you comment on the gay bomb. I saw you was ready, <laughs> so we'll just no, just keep that same energy for the gay bomb. Gay, All gay, right. gay, gay, gay. Read it. <laughs> they are turning citizens, yes you, oh. gay <laughs> with the food and water. Wow. So hey, not yo, only is what? it a gay bomb, there is gay food and water. Hey, right. yo. This, this. <laughs> the hell that's is this? Right there. <laughs> that's what? Come on, officer. Come on. Hey, that's 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring it out. Yes, sir. I mean, yeah, that's. that's is, this, is there more on it or is that it? Okay, play the video. Oh, they got a video. <laughs> Estrogen imposters that are messing with your body. Phytoestrogens that come from food. The two worst offenders, flaxseed and soybeans. Massive estrogenic content. Wow! No others came close, but soy protein isolate came in at a disturbing 8,840. All right, bad. it's a long video. So Esau is wicked, and we know Wait that. a minute. So in the food, they even studied the food to try to get you gay. What the wow. hell? Hey, if you ain't keeping these commandments, you, you oh, Isaiah 1 and 9. Yeah, right. yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bring it out. Go ahead and bring that out, David. Wow. Since you, since you, since you uh, was in the no, spirit and well, you felt that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, don't read that, reader. The book Isaiah of Isaiah one and nine. Isaiah one <laughs> and nine. You gotta tell them. This brother been calling wrong scriptures all night. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, I'll read that. Damn, sir. The book of Isaiah chapter one and verse nine. Read. Except the Lord of hosts had left us a very small remnant. A very small remnant. All right, and who is that remnant? All right, on you brothers and sisters out there keeping these commandments. That's right. All right, God had left a very small remnant. Read. We should have been as Sodom. As what? As Sodom. If it wasn't for the Lord. Uh, gosh, you would have, yeah, uh, read. And we should have been You would have like been swallowed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, read it, read it. Yes, sir. You would have been what? And we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Unto gay. Sodom and Gomorrah. Gay. 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 gay bomb and gay water. Hey, wow. y'all better keep these laws, man. That's right. Hey, That's so right. it's not new, but the measles are back. Uh, just play that video real quick. And then disease X, pestilence, right? All right, play that video real quick. 
Health officials in Virginia are warning travelers at Dulles and Reagan airports that they may have been exposed to highly contagious measles. The Virginia Department of Health says the warning is linked to an international traveler who was at the international arrivals at Dulles Airport between 4 and 8 o'clock on Wednesday. Because you January put them there. 3rd. Right. I'm just playing. I, you know, it's, you know, Esau and their wickedness, man. But, right. hey, all praise to the Father. There's been another episode of the Writings on the Wall. That's, that's show. right. Yeah, that's right. You know, we had to do a special edition. Uh, some good stuff. Sure, good sure. stuff, man. So all praises. Uh, it's your brother, Captain Mattathai, is logging off to my right. Shalom, Israel. Officer Losas. Shalom, Israel. Officer Aaron. Shalom, Israel. Officer Malachi. Shalom, Israel. Officer Samson. All right, Israel. I'm Officer David. Hey, Lord's will next week. I will be back with another show, and we want to say Happy New Moon uh, tonight. That's All right. right. Make sure we keep the feast with joyfulness and gladness. That's and right. with that, we say Shalom. Shalom, Israel.